can't talk now. That door has been making noises again. No telling what's coming out. Here comes it's not another right. one! Madness! Why? Why? Everything is wrong! It can't be done! Stay away from me! I won't go back! You can't make me go back! I'll kill you all! You're all going to die! Stay back! This one's final! <laughs> I'd stay back from that door if I were you. Nothing that's gone in has come out right. I don't know where it came from and I don't want to. Those who've gone in have come back out wrong. I'm just here to warn folks to stay away. Look for yourself. Their brains are addled. Got no sense. Perfectly normal people went in there. And this is what's come out. Ha! It's your funeral. I'm just here to warn people, not keep them out. Go ahead in. I'll be here to clean up the mess when you come out. No, go away. I'm not here. A nice effort, though. Shame is dead. <laughs> These things happen. Bring me a champion! Rend the flesh of my foes! A mortal champion! To wade through the entrails of my enemies. Really? Do come in! It's lovely in the aisles right now. Perfect time for a visit. Yes, what can I do for you? I imagine you're here about the door. Yes, you have entered and now you are here. Amazing, truly. I am Haskell, Chamberlain to the Lord Sheagorath. You approach the Shivering Isles. Through the door behind me, lies the realm of Sheogorath, Prince of Madness, Lord of the Never There. Because my Lord wills it to be so, it poses no danger to Mundus. No compact has been violated. It is a doorway, an invitation. Perhaps you will accept it for what it is. For you? I do not know. My lord seeks a mortal to act as his champion. As for his intent, to attempt to fathom it is a foolish endeavor. His will is his own. His reality follows suit. You are here because you chose to enter. You were not summoned. They entered this realm and were ill-prepared. Their minds are now the property of my lord. Cured? You speak as if they are diseased. They live now in another state of being. Perhaps it is you who needs a cure. You do as you will. You may leave the way you entered. Your life will be none the worse for your time spent here. Or... You may continue onward, through the door behind me. If you can pass the gates of madness, perhaps the Lord Sheogorath will find a use for you. Who is to say? There are always choices to be made. 
the realm of madness is no different in that regard. Your choices are your own. Enter or do not, but make your decision. I have other duties to which I must attend. Speak with me again when you have made up your mind. The anticipation is almost too much to bear. Well, have you made up your mind? The tension is almost palpable. Fine. I'm sure my lord will be most pleased, assuming you ever manage to see him. You'll want to pass through the gates of madness. Oh, and mind the gatekeeper. He dislikes strangers to the realm. Enjoy your stay. Just confused. They should have listened to me. We'll be swimming in blood soon. Yuck. Welcome to my town. He guards the gates of madness. See for yourself. He's about to destroy a party of adventurers. They say the keys are sewn up in the gatekeeper's body. Basically, that means you're not getting in. The place was pretty deserted when I got here. Of course, once I was here, others followed. Can't say I blame them. Like most lesser Daedra, the hunger has a weakness to shock spells. Bye. Listen to me. Why is he dying? He's fighting men. Oh no. 
They're bleeding all over the place. Dead. I warned them, didn't I? Look at all the blood and gore. I'm getting out of here. I'm Fellas Sarandis. Don't breathe on me. Pretty scary, isn't he? Jared's planning on killing him. I don't know how. The gatekeeper looks indestructible to me. One leads to the lands of Mania, and one to Dementia. The gatekeeper makes sure no one gets in who isn't supposed to. It's a nice enough place, less dirty than others. I feel like I belong. That old man in the room made out of butterflies, he said to wait here. I don't like you and don't want to talk to you. Bye. He's too much. Killed all my men! Get out of my way! You've got nice bones. I'm J-Red Ice Veins. Do you ever wonder why things look better without their skin on? For instance, you can only really see the bones when you take them out. You can hear them better that way, too. I want him dead. I need him dead. His bones are calling to me. Rumor has it you want him dead, too. If you're any good with a lockpick, we can help each other out. We can get into the gardens of flesh and bone. They say the gatekeeper's magical. I don't believe in magic, but I do believe in bones. And the best way to kill something is with the bones of its own. I can see the bones of a dead gatekeeper in the courtyard of the gardens. The door's locked, though. You'll pick that lock, and I'll collect the bones. Then I'll make some arrows, and we'll kill the gatekeeper. Sound good? Hurry up! The bones are calling! He must die. It's the only way. I can hear them calling to me from the other side. We need to kill the gatekeeper. He has the keys. I followed the bones. They led me here. I just moved in when I got here. No one seemed to mind. Everyone here seems to be waiting for something. The Ballywog will return to the water to heal. Take care. Dredwin, no one was running this place when I got here. They left plenty of things behind, though. What do you need? He protects the gates of madness. He'll kill anyone who gets near. Anyone except Relmina Veronim. She's staying upstairs right now. I feel like I need to be on the other side. I'm just not sure how to get in. I took over the inn when I got here. There wasn't anyone living here. Except for Sheldon. He says he's mayor. Don't believe it. There's a man in bliss who believes his own house will collapse around him.
what have we here? Another hopeful whose blessing hasn't fully taken root? No, I don't think so. You're an adventurer? How disgusting. Why don't you go back the way you came? It is where the body of my child was grown and the resting place of his less fortunate siblings. You have no business going there. The gatekeeper is my child, the consummation of Sheagorath's wisdom in the womb of my genius. It was a painful and bloody birth, but well worth it. His brothers were less successful. You won't bother those blessed by Lord Sheagora. You, however, will die trying to get the keys from my child. Try him if you like. Believe me, after you die, I can put your flesh and bones to very good use. I'm bored with you. Why don't you talk to Nanette? She likes talking. I'll need to cure her of that habit soon enough. There's one sure way to stop a tongue from flapping. Cut it out. Shall I demonstrate? Don. I wasn't sure why I came here until she showed up. Now I know. I'm going to be a powerful sorceress. Just like Relmina. Do you hear that sound? It's like a horse dying. It's just down the road from Parswell. It's where Relmina created the gatekeeper. He's Relmina's crowning achievement. The gatekeeper keeps out people who don't belong in the Shivering Isles. She made him in the gardens of flesh and bone. She's my teacher. She's going to teach me all her secrets. Oh, and this is really interesting. Wait. Oh, never mind. My big mouth almost just got me in trouble again. Say what you're going to say. For me, you shouldn't have. I'd like to tell you, but really, I, I shouldn't say anything more. Yes? I appreciate the gesture. I'd like to... All right. Well, isn't that sweet of you? I'd like... For you? For me? That I've been dying to tell someone. You seem trustworthy enough, but don't tell Relmina I said anything. The gatekeeper is flawed. Her tears hurt him. Her tears somehow agitate the Daedra bound to the gatekeeper's body. Her tears make it really restless. It strains harder against the warding magic. She may seem like a tough woman, but the gatekeeper makes her all weepy. Go, see for yourself. She visits him every night around midnight. Just don't tell her I said anything. I might get another lesson in the nature of pain. I don't like those lessons very much. Can't get in without Shea Gareth's blessing. That's what Romina says. That's the reason we're all waiting here. For Shea Gareth's blessing. Oh, and I guess there's keys sewn up inside the gatekeeper's body. Not sure why someone would do that. It's 
Not like anyone can get them now. I don't know who built it. It was here before any of us arrived. It looks like other people lived here before. Dreadwin's been selling what they left behind. So, if you need something, talk to her. She's in the Wastrel's purse. The Argonian Bighead is always searching for the Fork of her repilation. See you. So proud of you, my child. You crush our Lord's enemies into dust. Just looking at you reminds me of him. Why has he forsaken us? I'm sorry, child. It's just too much for me. I must leave now. Why does it still hurt after all these years? Too upset to talk right now.
So, you've managed to kill the gatekeeper. Pity. Well, you'll now be able to enter the realm proper. You'll notice there are two doors. One leads to the lands of Mania, the other to Dementia. Enter through either one. The lands are quite distinct, but both are Sheagorath's domain. You'll want to seek out Lord Sheagorath. I believe he has plans for you. Try not to disappoint him. The lands of Dementia reflect the darker side of its residents. It is easy to get lost among the tangle of roots growing out of the ground. If you wish to meet Dementia's citizens, seek them out in Deepwallow or Felmore. I'm sure they'll welcome one such as you with open arms. The doorways into the realm proper. You may enter through either one. Really, it depends on which aspect of the realm more suits your disposition. As I've said, all choices have consequences, but don't trouble yourself too much with your decision. All those that enter the realm are forever changed, but some believe it is for the better. A good portion of them, at least. The lands of Mania are bright, vibrant, and full of color. You'll find its inhabitants reflect the land itself. If you wish to meet the residents of Mania, you'll find them in the settlements of Hale and High Cross. Take care, though. Though the citizens and creatures of Mania are colorful, they can often be quite deadly. I'm sure you can handle it, though. It is, of course, the capital of the Shivering Isles. It is divided into Bliss, Crucible, and the Palace Districts. He is the Prince of Madness, the ruler of the Shivering Isles. It is by his will that we exist in this place. He is our Lord and Master. You'll want to speak with him soon, as I believe he has plans for you. You will find him in New Sheath, in his palace. It is best not to make Lord Sheagorath wait. His whims are fleeting, and should he decide you are no longer necessary, it would be to your detriment. My work is never done. Speak, citizen. Speak quickly. New Sheoth is the capital of the Shivering Isles. We Oriol guard Bliss, the Manic district of the city. Sheogorath rules the Shivering Isles. We, the Oriol, are his favored soldiers, the most perfect expression of his might. The domain of the Prince of Madness, Sheogorath. 
We Oriole are tasked with defending this realm against the lesser beings that would destroy it. Go. Speak quickly, mortal.
Mad God's blessings. The Maz can guard Crucible and New Shayath. We ensure the Demented remain orderly and respectful of our Lord Shayagarth. 
Sheogareth is our lord, ruler of the Shivering Isles. It is by his whim that the mass can walk, and we serve our master to the death. The Shivering Isles are a reflection of our lord Sheogareth, divided yet perfect. Walk with our lord. Your pardon, citizen. I must return to my post. Gal best in it. Blessings, citizen. I'll calicrack the fine do. I will! You tear it at it! Gal best in it. Hey, you. Come over here. I have a proposition for you. Best not to talk about it here. Meet me at the sewer grate northeast of the Shale Goreth statue. Come after dark. Come alone. Secrets, I'm the one to tell. I won't share them with anyone but my family. Unless they're good ones, that is. Bye. It's gone. All of it gone. Have you seen any of it? Any of my things? The others, they think I'm stealing, but I just want my things back. See you. Blessings of the Mad God. I hear that Eero is fed up with Brythar's antics. He really wants something done about it. Eero has a big problem with Brythar. I don't know exactly what the problem is, but it's safe to say Eero is making a huge fuss over it. Eero owns a magic shop in town called Eero's Mysteries. If you want to know more, I'd suggest you ask him yourself. Bye. Firm arms? A strong back? Yes, you'll do nicely. It's a shame. Time will ravage you, destroy you, wither you. But there are alternatives. Time need not slow you. Tell me, have you ever considered placing yourself on display? Oh, yes. You see, I am a student of chronomancy, the magic of time alteration. Using Magicka, I will slow your heart rate, your breathing, your movement, and your thoughts until they may as well not be functioning at all. You will be perfectly preserved, taken out of time, beautiful forever. I will display you with the rest in my collection. Oh, what a pity. Well then, what is it that I can do for you? And be quick about it. Every second that passes brings us closer to our graves. That lout? Yes, he's a thorn in my side that never seems to go away. I'd have his heart on a plate if I could. I wish he'd simply disappear from the streets of New Sheoth forever. Oh, look! Just talking about it has given me another grey hair. For one thing, he's a thief. But what irks me the most is that he's a bad thief. Between my shop and a few others in Crucible, he's been caught stealing maybe a dozen times last month. 
Who has time for this sort of thing? I mean, at this rate, I'll grow old and die before he's out of our hair. I'll tell you what I tell anyone else who asks. Get rid of him for me and I'll make it worth your while. Do hurry. Time's wasting. Prove to me he's gone, and the reward is as good as yours. Now please, get a move on. I feel my bones getting more brittle as we speak. Please, come back soon. What? You looking for me? They call me Cutter. For a truly inspired blade, I can forge madness or here. Hold on to this parchment. It lists what I need. Spirits of ancient souls are trapped in the ore. Find it in old ruins. Also, Grumites are especially attracted to it. It's a supple and flexible ore, yet it holds a good edge. I can shape the sharpest of blades from it. I can also create magical items. Tradition dictates before each master smith dies, she hides these magical molds in the world, like pouring salt into a wound. Over time, they soak in magical energies from the world around them like you suck blood from a cut. Bring me a matrix and enough ore, and I will forge you a new item and bleed the magic of the matrix into it. I'd love to have a madness armor to hold your shape, but you must provide some madness ore. Inspect the information I have posted. shape a weapon for you, but you don't have enough madness or that amiable family and is afraid of his own shadow. Take care. Well, hello there. It's good to see such a well-equipped individual as yourself around these parts. But you look tired. Carrying all that gear will do that to you. I'd be glad to shoulder some of the burden, relieve you of that expensive stuff. Or is there something else I can take from that I mean help you with? Oh, how could anyone have a problem with me? Come now. A Jazda thinks the world is ending tomorrow. She's been saving magic items just in case. Yes? You've got a point. You win. Don't talk such rot. That's just... That's amazing. That's not bad. Oh, how could anyone have a problem with me? Come now. All right. For me? You shouldn't have. I know what people say about me. I'm not completely stupid, you know. It's just that I like to collect things. All sorts of things. Shiny things, valuable things. I can't help myself. My collection is almost complete. All I need are five flawless pearls, and I'm done. How hard could that be? Beautiful gems, they are. They can be found all over the Shivering Isles, in treasure chests and the like. Excuse me. I have important things to do.
sure took your time. here. You! How about that? A new arrival! Shame about my gatekeeper. I'm so happy I could just tear out your intestines and strangle you with them! <laughs> I suppose an introduction is in order. I'm Sheogorath, Prince of Madness! And other things. I'm not talking about them. You've probably figured that out by now. Let's hope so, or we're in real trouble. And out come the intestines, and I skip rope with them. <laughs> but perhaps now's not the time. I can read it this far, farther than anyone else. Well done. Take this trinket of mine. Perhaps it will serve you well, or look lovely on your corpse. I've been waiting for you! For someone like you, or someone other than you for some time. I need a champion, and you've got the job! Time to save the realm, rescue the damsel, slay the beast, or die. Your help is required. A change is coming. Everything changes. Even Daedric Princes. Especially Daedric Princes. Daedra are the embodiment of change. Change and permanency. I'm no different, except in the ways that I am. A Grey March is coming, and you're going to stop it. The details aren't important, at least not right now. Eternity is on a rather tight deadline. We'll get back to that later. Now, you run an errand for me, an important one, of course. Anything I tell you to do is important. My realm, my rules. You're going to Zedillion. One of my favorite spots in the Isles. It's a little place I used to take care of unwanted visitors. And some are more unwanted than others. The gatekeeper takes care of most of the unwanted, but he's dead. We'll have to remedy that soon as well. Anyway, there are those that have other ways into my realm. And they're on the move. We don't want them here, trust me. So, you're going to get Zedillion up and running. Here's a little book to tell you how. And the Attenuator of Judgment. Uh, you'll need that too. Of course, you can always get more details from Haskell. He's a detail-oriented type of person. A big help. And a snappy dresser. Now... Get going, before I change my mind. Or my mind changes me. 
Really, no need to trouble yourself with the details of that now. It would just cloud your little mind. What is important is getting to Zedillion. Quickly! Before I get bored. Oh, you wouldn't like me when I'm bored. Ah, new Shea. My home away from places that aren't my home. The current location is much better than some of the prior ones, but don't you think? Yes? Speaking to me? Well, I'm he. He's me. And others as well. Or they were, weren't they? The Isles. The Isles! A wonderful place. I except when it's horrible. Then it's horribly wonderful. Good for a visit. Or for an eternity. A little busy here! I'm trying to decide what to have for dinner. Oh, how I love eating. One of my favorite things to do. Talk to Haskell if you need more information. He's got more brains than a brain pie. Oh, brain pie. Perfect! Care to donate? You can go now. Run along, Scoot. The Mad God has given you a task. Surely someone of your copious talent should be able to handle it. He is the Prince of Madness, the ruler of the Shivering Isles. The Shivering Isles is what Sheogorath wills it to be. Yes, quite an amazing place, really. Wonderful for relieving one's tension as you watch those troublesome adventurers suffer. No offense. I'd say your next move is to head to Zedillion and get it reactivated. Yes? Ah, silly me. The book has no pictures. Can't really expect you to read that now, can I? To reactivate Zedillion for my lord's pleasure, you'll need to find three focus crystals and return them to their resting place. Each crystal has a matching receptacle called a judgment nexus. Even you can't miss them. Without the crystals in place, the resonator of judgment, Zedillion's power source, cannot be restored. You have the attenuator, the manual, and a map. I'm certainly not going to carry you there, so I'd suggest you get to it. Place one foot in front of the other. You know how it goes. The Mad God has given you a task. I'd suggest you make haste and get to Zedillion. My Lord Sheagorath does not like those who lollygag. Or maybe he does? Bah, just get going. I live to serve. What do you want? What? See you. Sickly Bernice Proprietor. Don't get too close now. You might catch what I have. <coughs> well, it seems I am dying. Yes, these may be my last days in the Shivering Isles. 
That is, unless someone like yourself could help me find the cure. But no one has taken me up on my offer, even with the promise of a reward. <laughs> It's been a good life, I suppose. Sleepy, are you? Be careful, you might be ill. Or dying. You never know. <laughs> if you insist on sleeping, there's a bed for 20 gold a night. Very well. Go through that door up the stairs and it'll be the first door on the right. Sleep well, if you can. Are you willing to help me? Oh, thank you so much. There's only one place in all the aisles to get the cure for what I have. Naughty Bramble. I'll mark it on your map. There, on the lowest level of the place, is a pool containing the cure. Aqua Nostra. Legend has it that he bubbles up from around an old statue. <coughs> Bring me back the remedy, and I will reward you well. Here, take the special flask to collect the Anconostrum. Oh yes, it's the miracle remedy for any disease. I was told about this wonderful solution by a recent patron of my establishment. He said if I let him stay for free, he'd tell me how to cure my sickness. How fortuitous. <laughs> Apparently it only exists at the bottom of Naughty Pram. Oh, well. So close, yet so far. Hurry. There's no telling how much time I have left. Best not to talk about it here. Meet me after dark at the sewer grate. Blessings, citizen. Mad God's blessings. Walk with our Lord. <sighs> I'm glad you came. So, are you interested in earning some loot? Great! There's a... A simple task. Yes, a simple task that you must perform. This life, it's, well, it's too painful. Everywhere I look, I see death, dying and decay. When I dream, I see a world without sunshine. 
I'm constantly on the verge of retching up, or falling asleep, or screaming at someone who doesn't deserve it. I'm just so fed up with it all. A bad day? A bad day? Try a miserable existence! There's no point in talking about it. Action must be taken. You must. I need you to kill me. Have you seen those miserable souls on the hill of suicides? Do you think that kind of existence is any better than this? No. You must kill me. I don't necessarily want to see it coming. And I want to die here in the city so all these people finally believe me. They'll wish they were nicer. You probably want to do it without spectators, though, so you don't get in trouble. Best to make it look like an accident. But remember, I don't want to see it coming. Take me unaware. Well, that's up to you, I suppose. I'm gonna go about my daily life such as it is, as if nothing has changed. Make your move when you wish, but uh, please do it soon. Oh, that. When you kill me, take the key to my house. Nothing really worth taking except what's locked up in the jewelry box. You can have that. Okay. I'm going to pretend everything is normal. Make your move as soon as you can, but let me get away first so I don't know it's coming. Please, no! Okay, I'm going to pretend everything is normal. Like this?
blessings, citizen. We should go hunting soon. The gatekeeper's dead. He won't stop us from coming and going now. The Gnarl are strange creatures. Hit them with a fireball and they get stronger. But they hate other elements even more. See you.
Lord Cheagorath has sent someone to assist me. But where are my manners? <clears throat> Must get into my professional tone. <clears throat> Welcome to Zedillion. 
I'm the dungeon caretaker, Kiliban Nerendil. A wonder of engineering, is it not? Zedillion is the ultimate test of metal for the foolhardy adventurer that dares trespass into the Shivering Isles. What they don't know is that they're being drawn to their doom, courtesy of the Resonator of Judgment. Ever since that wretched gatekeeper was made, Zedillion became redundant. It fell into disrepair and was eventually all but forgotten. After only a few years passed, the Grumites began moving in. Ghastly things. They mistook the focus crystals for some sort of religious symbols and removed them from their rightful places. This rendered the Resonator inert and Zedillion completely useless. Luckily, you came along and placed Zedillion back into operation. Yes, yes, I, I tend to ramble. You'll have to forgive me. If you have the attenuator, then Shea Gorath must have sent you. Zedillion would normally have sent you back to the entrance when you stepped on the pad in the resonator chamber. Since you're up here, I can only surmise that adventurers are already entering the dungeon as we speak. The only thing we can do is let the adventurers complete a cycle through here. I'll be glad to help. I assume Shea Gorath gave you the Manual of Zedillion. You can consult it for more information, or I can provide instructions. I will be happy to describe each chamber and explain the event that unfolds as we proceed through Zedillion. As the adventurers make their way through Zedillion's chambers, they will encounter choices that you make in these control platforms. All you need to do is decide what becomes of the adventurers. Will you drive them insane, or will you pull the life from their bodies? Simple. Wait until the adventurers are in position, and then press a button. If they survived, they will proceed to the next chamber, and so on. It's really quite ingenious. You'll know you're done when they lie dead on the ground or they are out of their minds. Of course, any of their possessions you wish to keep are yours for the taking. I'll make sure you get them when you're done. Well, the dead will be disposed of. Have no fear. That's my job. Those that are lucky enough to merely go insane will be granted a place in the Shivering Isles as a permanent resident. As you wish. The Resonator works by drawing adventurers to itself with a sort of magical siren's call. Sheagorath uses the Resonator to find the cream of the crop, as he calls them, the best of the worst to populate the Isles. Quite clever, eh? So good to be back in business. Continue on our way. Are my eyes playing tricks? Or is the creature by the gods? When will it stop? It could devour us. Run for your lives! Get back here, you cards! Something's not right. All 
this time it was merely an illusion. How clever. Wait, what's wrong with Lewin? It makes no sense. He should be dead. But what? No. I think this place got to him. Perhaps we should leave. No, we'll pick him up on the way out. He must fend for himself. Watching them run from the giant nose gets me every time. Fit the lock. <laughs> steady, Grumok, steady. You've been through worse before. What more could this place possibly throw at you? Short work of the intruders. Shea Gorath should be proud to have such an efficient apprentice. Now, if you'll step on the last teleporter pad, I will meet you in the reception chamber so we can recover your earnings. I'm afraid you've exhausted Zedillion's resources. This was the final chamber. Not to worry. We'll have your spoils to you in no time at all. As is the tradition, you are to be awarded a focus crystal as a token of your fine work. I'll have it sent to the palace and placed in the main hall if you wish to take a look at it. Oh yes, of course. It seems a most unusual weapon was recovered from the orc warrior, Dramok. Never seen anything like it. 
But perhaps his journal can give you some useful information. Beyond that, take whatever else you need from the recovery chest. You've earned it. You're free to go at any time, of course. Just up that hallway. Good luck to you. Injured. You've not heard the legends? How could that be? Those beings, as you call them, aren't beings at all. They are the soulless abominations known as the Knights of Order. Their attraction to the Resonator isn't surprising. It was built from one of the obelisks that dot the isles they seem to have an affinity for. You must proceed to Shergorath at once and tell him the knights have returned. Quickly now, go! You've certainly done your part protecting Zedillion. Should Shergorath ever decide to visit, I'll be sure to inform him of your proficiency. There isn't much more to say about these soulless creatures. No one knows why they invade or where they're from. But they aren't from the Isles. They haven't walked among us in many hundreds of years. Now that they've returned, there's no telling what may happen to us. My best advice is to destroy them on sight. They wouldn't hesitate to do the same to you. Now that Zedillion is up and running, I'll endeavor to keep it as clean and tidy as the day it was created. Hasten back to the palace. Cheer Gorath must know. do you have to report? So soon? Not a surprise, I suppose. We'll get to that later. No need to burden your little brain with it now. And Zedillion, since you're standing here, I assume you've succeeded. Or you're terribly confused. Or really lacking in good judgment! Wonderful! Time for a celebration! Cheese for everyone! Wait! Scratch that! Cheese for no one! 
That can be just as much of a celebration if you don't like cheese, true? You've run a maze like a good little rat, but no cheese for you yet. Oh, well, maybe a little. I've granted you a new spell, the ability to summon Haskell, my Chamberlain, to aid you in your travels. He knows a lot, more than he knows. In fact, give it a try. Summon our friend to you now. I'll wait. I see you've returned. How exciting for you. I believe you have some news for Lord Sheogorath. Perhaps you should be speaking with him instead of illuminating me with your presence. has granted you the power to summon me. How wonderful for me. When summoned, I can offer advice on your current endeavor. I imagine it's up to you what to do with my wisdom. Do try to use your power sparingly. I have duties to which I must attend. Rather more important than shepherding you around, I'm sure. Look who's here. You. How about that? Isn't that a hoot? I love it myself. Best part of being a Daedric prince, really. Go ahead. Try it again. He loves it. Ah, summoned again. My lord does so enjoy that, as is his prerogative. I'll assume you're done for now. You'll need all the help you can get if you're going to defeat Jigalag and stop the Grey March. Oh, don't expect to summon dear Haskell anywhere but in the realm. He dislikes leaving my presence. I get that sometimes. The Daedric Prince of Order. Or biscuits. No, no order. Yeah. And not in a good way. Bleak. Colorless. Dead. Boring, boring, boring! And not a fan of my work, I can tell you. Hates it, hates me. A bit single-minded, if you take my meaning. You have seen his knights? Not the warm and cuddly sort. <laughs> not a bit of original thought in their lifeless husks. So, you're going to help me stop him. Again with the niggling little details. Hold your tongue, or I will. <laughs> we'll get to that all in due time. For now, you've got other work to do. An event, a movement, an apocalypse of sorts. Happens every era at the end of every era, which is to say, now. The Grey March comes, and Jigalag walks. Or runs. I never skips, sidles, or struts. And mostly he just destroys everything around him. Ask? Ask? I don't ask! I tell! This is my realm, remember? My creation, my place, my rules! Look at you! No concept of what you've stumbled into. No sense of place. You don't even really know where you are, do you? I suppose few really do, but that's beside the point. We're going to give you a taste of where you found yourself. You're going to learn. Two halves, two rulers, two places. Meet and greet. Do what they will, so you know what they're about. The Duke of Mania and the Duchess of Dementia. Seek them out and let them show you what new Sheath is. 
you might be surprised. Once you understand what my realm is, you might understand why it's important to keep it intact. And maybe you'll make some friends along the way. That's always nice. It's Jigalag's time, and not a good time at all. You're going to help me stop it. First, though, you need to get your feet wet. I can't expect you to save the place if you don't even understand it. So speak to my dukes, learn about mania and dementia. Try not to die. Another Daedric prince. Not a nice one. I don't think any of the other princes like him, actually. I mean, Malakath is more popular at parties. And Malakath is not popular at parties. Seen them about, have you? Odd things. They've always been here, but they're not of here, if you take my meaning. You'll see those Knights of Order around them during the Grey March. Drum to them like flies to honey or rotting flesh. Ever wonder why flies like both? <laughs> Best not to ask. Ta! Come visit again, or I'll pluck out your eyes! <laughs> yes, do you require assistance? As my lord told you, what happens at the end of every era, and Jigalag walks the realm. Few of the citizens can remember the last Grey March, or they choose not to. The Daedric Prince of Order, and the leader of the Grey March. As I'm sure my lord told you, Jigalag has always been a threat to this realm. Yes, you'll find them throughout the Isles. Jigalag's forces use them as conduits into the Isles. Sheyagorath has tried to remove them, but they always return. While they cannot be destroyed, they can be rendered inert. The hearts of order found on Jigalag's knights can be placed in the obelisks. Adding enough can cause the obelisk to become overloaded with power. I live to serve. Welcome to the House of Hi. Media. I'd research my own spells before I'd buy them from Hero's Mysteries. The only mystery is how he stays in business. See you later. Greetings, friend. Some say the Grumites are the original inhabitants of the Shivering Isles. I don't know where they came from. I just know they're everywhere. Yes, Hatchling, do you seek Thaden? I heard that you were coming, looking for Thaden. Yes, yes, heard it all. Bored to tears by it. He's waiting for you, unless he isn't. He wasn't, but then he was. Maybe he still is. Goodbye. Yes? May all your days be filled with enlightenment and love. Welcome to the House of Maiden. Ah, yes, there you are. You couldn't imagine how long I've been waiting for you. So little to do and so much time. Hmm. Could you, in fact, imagine just how long I've been waiting? I don't think you could, but I might be wrong. I might also not care. Which is it? It felt like rather a long time, but then long times get longer when you're standing around thinking about them. A curious thing, that long roads get longer too, if you're thinking about them. But what about long words? 
they don't change nearly as much. Long, short, it all ends up the same. Dust and tears. Usually tears first, then the dust. Dust can't cry, you see. That would be, well, amusing. You know what's not amusing? I don't have my chalice of reversal. It makes me sad. When I get sad, I don't care to do much of anything. I certainly don't care to help people who show up on my doorstep wanting something. Are we getting the picture here? Oh, so you've heard of it. You haven't heard of it, yet you know its name? What a strange creature you are. One of my favorite toys. Does wonders for creativity. Well, not by itself, but it helps. Those elytra, clever little bugs that they are. Is this making sense? Look, you eat the feldew, then use the chalice and find the world a much brighter and happier place. Honest. But I don't have it, so I can't eat Feldew, because that would just be bad. I mean, really bad. Damn her. We hold on to fleeting things, even as we slip. I knew, and yet I indulged myself in it. I indulged her a fair bit, too. <laughs> it was passion. It was forbidden. Oh, the things that would be said if word got out. That made it all the more delicious. From Dementia's own court, no less. Scandalous. Fatal, perhaps. But passion makes no accommodation for self-preservation. Don't you? If you don't, you might. You wouldn't fall for her, though. Not the type. Opposites repel, strangely enough. All that pleasure and pain locked away now, as if it never happened. Unfortunately, the chalice is locked away as well. I have no wish to retrieve it myself, but fetching it might do you some good. My head is positively throbbing now. Can you see it? I need to lie down. Find someone to tell you the rest of the story. Get the chalice. Well, look at you. A change for the better? Or for the worst. We'll have to see, won't we? I feel as though we've talked about this. Am I mistaken? Perhaps you're mistaken, and we have spoken of it. I simply can't recall. I could think so much more clearly if I had the chalice. See you. And speaking to Thaden, I can tell. He has a certain effect on people. Did he mention me, perhaps? Or was there something else you wanted to discuss? If you are working to help Thaden, I'll tell you whatever I can. I don't ask too many questions of Thaden. It's precious to him, and that's all that matters. It's his own business. But didn't he mention where it is? Oh, I see. How brilliant of him. 
This is for you as much as it is for him. Oh, very good, Thaden. Dunroot Burrow is your goal, my friend. And what a goal it is. Yes, yes, a most unique place. Of course the chalice would be there. Don't you see? It's the elytra. They're the reason. The chalice. Feldu. Elytra. It's all connected. One without the others is no good. Poison. Oh, a rough road awaits you. Some elytra there are different. You'll need to get Feldu from them and eat it. Can't get in without it. But once you do... He wants you to learn for yourself. Learn, grow, experience. It's his way. I shouldn't say more. But the borough, it's northeast of New Sheoth. The chalice is in Dunroot Borough. Haven't you been listening? Oh, it wouldn't do to speak of it. Thaden's plan for you, I mean. I like you, little one, but I would never interfere with what Thaden wants. So... See you later. I am Wide-Eye, steward to his grace, the greatest Duke of Mania in all of history, Thaden. He is my reason for being, my purpose in life. Make it quick. Oh, that's just the thing. Go there. Take the Feldu from the Elytra. Eat it, and your journey begins. You will be thankful to Thaden when this has passed. Oh, it wouldn't do to... Sp We'll see. What a thoughtful gift. Well, perhaps Thaden would want you to have a bit more guidance. He did say that you should talk to me, did he not? Feldu is a poison, little one. A very dangerous drug. You'll feel good at first, but that wears off. And if you go long without it, you'll suffer. See you. Speak, madman. Not my place to talk about it. You need to know, you talk to Wide-Eye. Poor Big Head will never find the fork of horripilation. May all your days be filled with enlightenment and mirth. How may I serve? Why do you approach the Duchess of Dementia? Do you seek death? You're the one the Mad God sent, aren't you? Then you're safe for now. Speak to no one unless I instruct you to. None of them can be trusted. Do you hear me? None! Surrounded by traitors and spies I am. Always, always, they watch and wait, eager to slip a knife into my spine when I'm not looking. That's exactly what they'd be expecting. They'll have replacements lined up, and then there could be even more of them surrounding me. No, no, too easy a fate for them. That's why you're going to help me. You're going to find them, force their hands, put them to the screws. You're going to find out who knows. You're going to learn who keeps secrets, who conspires against me. You will be my grand inquisitor. Expose the conspirators and they will be punished, I assure you. Find out who keeps secrets and what they are. Speak with Herdier. He will help you. Do you understand what is required of you? If no one is found, you will be held responsible.
What brings you to this delightful corner of the House of Dementia? How may I help you? Are you? Hmm. I'd expected an entrance with a bit more flair. Ah oh, well, perhaps you'll grow into the role. <laughs> One can hope. Hmm? Now we've got much to do. Lady Sill is not a patient woman, as I'm sure you've seen. Shall we begin? Isn't it obvious? We need to search through Crucible, looking for these traitors. Talk to whomever might have information. If they're reluctant to help, you just say the word and I'll do my best to mm, persuade them. <laughs> really, we should be going. Her ladyship expects results. What do you want? Find those who plot against me. Bring them to me so I might make an example of them. Lord Sheagoroth would do well to stop bothering with the Resonator and just send everyone away. I expect results, Inquisitor, and I expect them soon. Yes, do you require assistance? I believe you've already been instructed as to how to proceed. You'll need to ingest Feldu to enter the burrow. You've already been warned that this will weaken you, so do take the necessary precautions. You may find the enormity of your task daunting at first. Use Herder's talents to aid you with those who are unresponsive to questioning. I shall await further summons. No doubt you will have need of me. Ah! Ah! Hello. This Mazkin must return to duty. Goodbye. Blessings, citizen. Yes? I don't know anything about a conspiracy! Please, no! Speak, madman. I don't know anything about a conspiracy! No! Please, no! Please, no more! I don't know anything about a conspiracy! Thank you. Goodbye. Med God's blessings. Walk with our Lord. Yes, Inquisitor. What may I do for you? Well, of course, Inquisitor. I look forward to working with you. Ew! You smell worse than that cat, Bisha. Get away from me. I've nothing to tell the likes of you. No, please, no!
No more! No more! All I know is that word has gotten around about Anya Herrick. She looks more nervous than normal lately. People think she might be up to something. Ew! You smell worse than that cat. He's still around. I've seen him skulking like the filthy cat he is. Watch for them. I like dogs. Dogs are pretty. I don't know anything about the conspiracy. Ah, thank you. <laughs> that amiable Fanrian is afraid of his own shadow. You're no fun. I bet you don't like dogs. Please, no more. I don't know anything about a conspiracy. Thank you. The young folk just don't appreciate a good stick. I'll Calicrack to find you. I will. You tear it at it. Marry on that. I'll Balito before I cradle. Gal burst in it. Sindanwe runs a tight ship in Felmore. Take care. Have you dealt with Brythar? I'm not getting any younger here waiting for you. You must hurry and get rid of him. I don't know anything about a conspiracy. Please, no. No more! Please, come back... I do delicate things with madness, Orr. It tingles across the flesh when it cuts. I don't know anything about a conspiracy. Thank you. What shall I forge for you? Maybe later. Ushnar is deathly afraid of cats. He makes sure to keep dogs around because of it. I'm very good at sharpening blades. But I... Weapons and armor here, especially weapons, sharp ones. We'll see. You should be a sh goodness. What can I say? Oh, remarkable. We understand each other perfectly. That's right. Exactly. I stand by weapons and armor here, especially weapons, sharp ones. 
You got a good deal there. A fair bargain. I can accept that. You got a good deal there. You got a good deal there. That's a fair deal. If you need more, you know where to find me. I'm nearly always at work. Goodbye. You remain faithful. That is good. I will cut your throat if you visit that other smith. What shall I forge for you? Cutting a man apart, little by little, such sticky, sweet victory. Goodbye. I'm Anya Herrick. I serve Lady Syl, and she allows me to remain protected within the House of Dementia. I'm so grateful to her. Thaden's problem, not mine. Sickly Benices isn't a bad place. Just make sure to wash your hands. Kiflin, steward of Lady Sill. Unless you have reason to be here, your presence is unwelcome. Why would you come to me with Thaden's problems? You think I don't know what you've been tasked with? Why would I help my enemy? I don't know anything about a conspiracy. It's a poison. Plain and simple. It'll make you wish you were dead. And given enough time... You will be. The Elytra in Dunroot Borough. The ones that secrete it are immune, but they're the only ones. If the Feldu didn't kill you, the Elytra would. You're better off just leaving the thing in the ruins above the burrow. I've told you, it'll kill you. While I don't care if it does, I don't think you want that. Sometimes, a sharp blade is the best way to kill a flesh atronach. Take care. Madman? What? No, 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 I, I, I don't know anything about anything. I, I'm sorry, I can't help you. 
please, no! Please, I I'm not involved. I didn't do anything. They wanted me to get them close to Sil, but I couldn't abide them. I... I don't know. F not for sure. Mazada came to me, said that Sil needed to be removed, and that I was supposed to help them, or else. I would be far too afraid to turn on Sil. But I couldn't turn them in, either, because they might come after me. Please, you must do something. I've told you all I know. It was Mazada. I don't know anything more, I swear it. Take care. Yes, Inquisitor. What may I do for you? Very well, Inquisitor. What would you like to know, Inquisitor? According to Miss Herrick, Mazada has been pressuring her. He would be our next target, if you will. I hear the heretics in the lands of Mania summon hungers to fight by their sides. Take care now. seen any of Mazada's things? A shiny spoon? Or a broken bottle? I can't find them. That fool Big Head is always looking for the fork of a revelation. I'm afraid I have no idea what you are talking about. Please, no! Continue to do your worst, Inquisitor. But unless you have some evidence of this preposterous conspiracy, you'll get nothing from me. I told you, I don't know anything. You can't prove a thing. No, please, no. You may continue to do your worst, Inquisitor. Goodbye. Man. I don't know anything about a conspiracy. No, please, no.
Hello. Looking, look. I'll calicrack the fine dude. Gal burst in it. You sure took your time. So, you have the pearls? Or perhaps any other things of value I can have? I mean, a hold for you. I don't know anything about a conspiracy. No, please, no. No more! Excuse me. I have important things to do. Ew. I told you what I know. There's nothing more. Hello there. I just finished a lovely conversation with Uncle Leo. It seems he's not feeling well today. Lost an arm. I don't know anything about a conspiracy. Please, no! Ah! Please, no more! I hope you have something for me. I don't know anything about a conspiracy. Please, no! <laughs> Torturing a sickly old woman? Are you trying to kill me? I don't know anything, not for certain. I hear that Mazada has been seen talking to Sill's guard, Captain Nelvine, but I haven't seen them. Not wise for me to be outside late at night. Too easy to catch another cold. But if the rumors are true, you should keep an eye out for them. Oh, leave me alone. I've got enough wrong with me already. I don't need new wounds to add to my troubles. Hurry. There's no telling how much time I have left. Ah, you again. Have you seen any of Mazada's things? I told you, I don't know anything. You can't prove a thing. No, please, no. Blessings, citizen. What do you want? 
I don't know anything about a conspiracy. Please, no! Please, no more. I don't know anything about a conspiracy. No, please, no. Please, no more. Walk with our Lord. Have you made any progress? Will Anya assist us? No, that blasted Inquisitor got to her. We'll need to find someone else. See that you do so immediately. This is the one task which you were assigned. If you cannot complete it, you will be removed. Are we clear? I will, I will. I want to see Syl dead just as much as you. She cannot be allowed to survive after what she has done. It's despicable. Good. I shall expect a progress report soon. And keep your head down. The Inquisitor must not become involved. citizen. Ah, you again. Have you seen any of Mazada's things? I told you, I don't know anything. You can't prove a thing. What? I, I, it, it's for the good of Crucible. You must see that. Please, spare me. I'll do anything. I don't know, besides Nelreen. She is taking orders from someone, but won't tell me who. If I find out, uh, will you promise to spare me? Okay, okay, I get the names, and then you'll see. It will be worth it, I promise you. Meet me in my house tomorrow at midnight. I'll have information for you. Just please spare me. Take care. What do you want? 
I hope for your sake you are not accusing me of anything. Did you? And you have proof of this? No, you don't, do you? Well, then you'll get nothing out of me. Please, no! Your efforts are futile. You will get nothing from me. Walk with our Lord. You got some skooma, eh? Right, buddy? Pal? To share? Come on! Pass the skooma already! I hear the heretics in the lands of Mania summon hungers to fight by their sides. All right, it's about time. Give it me already. You don't know what it's like. I need the skooma. See you later. I hope you have something for me. Sleepy, are you? Be careful, you. If you insist on sleeping, then. Very well. Hurry. There's no telling how much time.
What do you want? You have no proof. You cannot hold me accountable for anything. And with it, you'll do what? I'm not even the one you want. Murin is behind it. You'll need solid proof to pin it on her. You already know my part in this. There is nothing more to say. Walk with our Lord. Oh, there, I just finished a lovely conversation with Uncle Leo. I see you've done quite a bit of work to track me down. Yes, I orchestrated it. Syl deserves to die a painful death for turning on all of us and consorting with our enemies. Go ahead, do what you will. Nothing matters now. Haven't you got what you need? Shouldn't you be running off to tattle like a good little servant? By the nine divines, can't a woman get a moment to herself? Leave me! What news do you have to report, Inquisitor? Have you found who is responsible? Is that so? I shall have her brought to the torture chamber at once. Meet me there shortly. Yes? Chosen a side, little one. You'll get what's coming to you eventually. You've confessed to attempting to kill me, I understand. The penalty for this treachery is death and is to be carried out immediately.
You see now what happens when those who oppose me fail, which they always do. I'm pleased with your work, Inquisitor. As a token of my appreciation, I shall spare your life and make you a courtier of dementia. In addition, accept this bow. May your enemies fear you and never know from where or with what enchantment you shall strike. Lord Sheagoroth would do well to stop bothering with the resonator and just send everyone away. Goodbye. Yes? If you find something unique, it's worth checking with Una Armina. Goodbye. Be quickly, mortal.
blessings of the Mad God. I might be willing to part with a few things, if the price is right. I can accept that. Good deal. Goodbye. If you find any interesting things, let me know. The triumphant champion returns. So, do you feel any different now that you've been through this experience, I mean? You know what it's like now, always wanting that next fix, hating it but craving it at the same time, and hating yourself for all of it. Ah, well, all over now. The chalice helps, doesn't it? Indeed it does, and I could use some helping right now. I'll just take that back from you. And as a token of my gratitude, I grant you the role of Courtier of Mania, with all of its entitlements. Which is to say, none. What? What is it? Very busy. Things to do, or see, or something. Wonderful to have it back. Really, truly, I, I can't thank you enough. Oh, wait. <laughs> I already did. Bye. experience both shades of madness. Wonderful. You seem fulfilled. Full of fill. Bursting at the seams. <gasps> Seamless. Now, to the meat of your endeavor. The crux of the situation. The reason for your being here. And the likely cause of your death. You'll be stopping the Grey March, altering the course of events, breaking the cycle! A fly in the ointment, a new cause for a different effect. We're going to change things. No, things will be different this time around. You'll be my champion. You'll grow powerful. You'll grow to be me. Prince of Madness, a new Shea Gorath. Or you'll die trying. I love that about you. A fair question. You won't really. At least I don't think so. But you'll have power. My power. Try not to lose it. It's a pain to replace. But for all intents and purposes, you'll be me. A me to fight the him. Since I won't be around. It's simple, really. If you don't think about it. Because you seem a nice enough sort. And you've made it this far. And if you don't, 
I'll swallow your soul and vomit it into the ever-filling chamber pot of the Ageless. <laughs> but mostly because I asked nicely. Well, not here. Didn't I say that? I'm never here when Jigalag walks. It's one of the rules. I've told you too much for now. Listen to me. Prattle on. I can see your mortal brain straining. We'll talk more later. Now, you've seen the great torch that burns brightly over New Sheath. No, because it doesn't. It should, but it doesn't. You'll fix that. You'll go to Silar and bring back the flame of Agnon to relight the torch. Oh, and take care with my minions at Silarn. In their eternal quest to please me, they're constantly fighting over Silarn. It can be tiresome, but really, it's divine, divinely tiresome. Well, that's your problem now. Off with you. I don't want to see you again until the great torch is lit. I wouldn't want to have to hurt you much. Oh, don't forget to make use of dear Haskell. Between you and me, if he's not summoned three or four times a day, I don't think he feels appreciated. That's where you're going to get the flame of Agnon. Do you listen to anything I say? Do your ears work? If not, I can find use for them. Go and fetch the flame. Bring it to the Sicellum. Light the great torch. How are you going to be me if you can't even do what me tells you? It's what's used to light the great torch. Haven't we covered this? You'll find it in Silar guarded by my saints and seducers. The great torch shines brightly above New Sheath, a beacon of hope for all the citizens. Except it doesn't. It's gone out. Happens every time the Grey March begins, which it has. Makes all of my subjects uneasy. Tense, homicidal, some of them at least. We need to get that torch relit before the place falls apart. Aren't you the curious one? You know what they say about curiosity, though, don't you? It killed the intrepid adventurer who really should just be doing exactly what I say at all times! You're going to stop the Grey March by becoming me. Or a version of me. Or you'll be powerful. Powerful enough to stop Jigalag. He's on his way. So I'm on my way out. It's terribly inconvenient, don't you think? You're going to stop him, though. And the first thing to do is to make my people feel safe. Otherwise, they tend to go work for him. It's annoying to tell the truth. A bit hurtful. But they do it every time. Join up with the enemy and become priests of order! Ta! Ah, come visit again! Or I'll pluck out your eyes! <laughs> yes, is there something you require? Ah, the Great Torch. It is a symbol of Sheagorath's power and a source of great comfort for the citizens of New Sheath. Unfortunately, the torch has gone out. For eternity, this has heralded the start of the Grey March. Lord Sheagorath, in his wisdom, wishes for you to relight the torch to help ease the worries of the populace. The flame of Agnon can only be lit by the immortal servants of Sheagorath, the golden saints and dark seducers of his creation. In normal times, Sheagorath would simply command it and his servants would leap to sacrifice themselves upon the altars of rapture and despair. 
But alas, the times are not normal, and Sheyagorath has given you this task without the authority to command it. I'm afraid you may have to be a little bit clever. It is underway, but my lord does not wish for you to confront it directly yet. First, the realm and its citizens must be attended to. Yes, he will soon march across the land, destroying all that stands in his path. It's a frightening prospect. Many of our citizens are uh, delicate. They can't cope with the prospect and they defect to the forces of Jigalag, becoming priests of order. Enlightening as always. Welcome to the House of Fame. Speak quickly, mortal. Speak quickly, mortal. Yes? I'm leaving. Hello. <laughs> Don't mind me. I'm a little tired. Can't sleep at home, you know. The walls, they aren't safe. Don't you know? You don't, do you? Well, it's lucky you met me. Here, you've been walking around as if nothing could happen. Oh, there's an idea. Why didn't I think of that? But where would I sleep? I need some place to sleep. I've seen some people sleeping out on the street, but they huddle too close to the walls. I need some place safe. I can't just sleep anywhere. There are walls and statues and all sorts of things that can fall on me. Can't have that. Nope. But if you find me a good place to sleep, a safe place outside, I'll reward you. Oh, don't tease me. It's serious. I could die. We all could die. Please, help find a safe spot outside to sleep where the walls won't come crashing down. Goodbye. Your lips to his ears. It's just one more way they try to get me to get all special in the head, right? Make me sleep outside and everything. I don't belong here, really. What I would do for a warm bed. Soon I'll be leaving here. As soon as I can figure out how to leave without them noticing. Why would he want to sleep in a bedroom and give me his bed? Sounds queer. I bet it's just another trick to get my head all twisted round. Trade places? A bed under a roof for a bedroll under the stars? Mm-hmm. Sure, sure. I don't trust you. Bye. Yes? Speak, madman. Yes? I have idea for you. But first, sweet roll for Fimian. Sweet roll for Fimian. Idea for you. Sweet roll. No sweet roll for Fimian. No answer to problem. Hmm. See you. The fork for big head. Oh, where has Master put the fork? It sings alone, far from home. Sad, sad fork. Sad, sad big head. The fork! The precious, precious fork! Hear how it sings to big head. 
beautiful, perfect fork of horripilation. But it is gone. Gone, gone, gone. No more singing. No more ringing. Taken from Big Head. Never returned. That is when Big Head came here. Master brought me. Whispered shouts into my ear. Songs of mad gods. Songs of bad gods. Softly, Master. Softly. It went away, but it will come back. It always comes back. It is close. Big Head can hear it. The fork of horripilation. Hear it singing songs of home. It comes again. It brings presents. It is not present. Soon it will be. You will find it. Bring the fork. Hear the music. Music of toads. Music of roads. Sing to yourself so all can hear. Talk to the beggar. Talk to Bullwing. He knows secrets, but no one can hear them. No one but Big Head. Take Big Head's charm. Listen to Bullwing. His tongue is tied, but his mind is unraveled. <laughs> He'll tell you the secret. Who has the fork? Find the fork. Bring it to Big Head. Sing it to Big Head. See you later. Yes? Blessings of the Mad God. Take care. Stay for a while, and stay away from my wife. Take care. What do you need? Goodbye. Fribble, just fri- Wait, you can understand me? Lovely. It's been too long since I was able to have a nice chat with someone. What a pleasant surprise. Previously, it was only poor Big Head who seemed to understand me, and he's always in such a lather about that fork. Ah, yes. The Fork of Horripilation. I have heard rumors about it. It appears that Lord Sheagorath has returned it to the Isles. Not surprising, I suppose. He does enjoy his toys. Last I heard, some heretics had gotten hold of the item in question. Unfortunately, it seems to be an item of great importance for some of the Zealots as well. They've been fighting over it for some time now. I try not to burden myself with news of the current goings-on. It gets to be rather distasteful at times, don't you think? Anything I can do to help you. Really, you should speak with Ungo. He doesn't want to be here anyway. Poor fellow believes himself sane.
I'm sure it will be sufficient. Poor, poor Ungo. So misunderstood. And I know what that's like. Good luck in your endeavor, my friend. Take care. Come back for a chat whenever you have the chance. Hello. So much to gather, so little time. Perhaps you can help. You might help against the coming storm. It's coming. I think I'm the only one who sees it, though, and I'm going to be ready. Oh, yes, I'll be ready. That's right. I've been stockpiling supplies, things I'll need to ride it out or survive when they come for me. I've been gathering things for quite a while, but there are still a few I'm missing. Perhaps you bring them to me. I still need the Amulet of Disintegration, the Ring of Desiccation, and, of course, the Calming Pants. Must have the Calming Pants. Bring these to me, and I will reward you well. Ajazda has many, many things. Take care. I'm Ingvar the Wanderer, although most people now call me Ingvar Doomsayer. It's true, the world is about to be destroyed. Some people are frightened by this, or they despair, or even try to deny the truth of what I say. But my message is actually one of comfort. The world is ending, and we can't do anything about it. Once you accept that, you'll be at peace, like me. Take care. Rendil Drarara, chef extraordinaire at your service. You haven't truly eaten a decent meal until you've had my strawberry harava, green moat, lime surprise, and spiderling under glass. See you later.
greetings. The fork? Songs of bringing? The fork for Big Head? You bring the fork. Happy day! The blind shall see, the lame shall walk, the short shall tall. Forks for all. Big Head names you, friend. Songs of friendship, songs of ship friends. Presents for you, presents on hatching day. Big Head was hatched, but his brother was not. Presents for egg friend, almost forgot. Selfish Big Head, shellfish Big Head. Big Head knows secrets, secrets of learning, alchemy, sneaking and stabbing with blades. Which will you learn? Big Head knows a secret about blades. Point them out, never in. Blade is out, poke, poke, poke. Kill the Grandpa Nitch. Goodbye. Sing to Big Head, sing to him. The Resonator of Judgment sings again. Singing, singing. Goodbye.
Speak, citizen. Speak, madman. You're to stay here for a night, eh? Just for sleeping. You keep to yourself, mind your business, and stay away from my wife. The room is 20 gold for tonight. You want to stay or not? Good. The room is on the second floor, right across from the stairs. Sleep soundly. Goodbye. I have much to offer, and I'm always on the lookout for more. Seems a fair bargain to me. Seems a fair bargain to me. That's a good deal. You've got a good deal there. But I can accept that. If you have anything else to sell, I'd gladly consider an offer. See you. in the lands of dementia believe they worship Arden Sue. The Maskin are unworthy to guard the Altar of Despair. Halt! Mortals are not permitted within the walls of Holy Cylarn. My pardon, Lord. Receive this key and with it free passage throughout the Shrine of the Flame of Agnon. Alas, we cannot light the flame until we take control of the Altar of Despair from the infernal Maskin. The Armazel Kana would wish to speak to you at once. Proceed through this door to our main encampment at the Altar of Rapture. My scouts reported no signs of the Maskin in the Underdeep. It's our best chance to take them unawares. Too risky. It's likely to be a trap. They could cut us to pieces down there if they knew we were coming. With all due respect, Amaz, I ask that you reconsider. The main passage is strongly defended. Perhaps if you'd allow me to scout further. Enough! I've made my decision. We will attack down the main passage as planned. The Maskin will not withstand us. Greetings, stranger. Are you here to help us drive the Mazkin out of Cylon? The flame is only lit at the command of Sheagorath, from the altars of rapture and despair within the shrine itself. 
I'm sure that our Mazel Kana will be glad to help you once the Mazkin are driven from the altar of despair. Alas, we have not seen the altar of despair for many years. It is in the underground part of Cylon, which is controlled by the Mazkin. The Mazkin do not even allow us free passage to worship there, which is one of the many reasons why they are unfit to continue to guard it. It is just there, at the top of these steps. You would pray for the blinding ecstasy, which is the ultimate reward for those in Sheagora's service? She commands the Orioles here at Cylon. She has just arrived with reinforcements from Relok to end this stalemate once and for all. That's what we call ourselves, the most loyal and honorable servants of Sheagora. Our home and sanctuary here in the Shivering Isles. For Sheagorath's glory. The altar of rapture will be ours. What is it, Emissary? The counterpart to the altar of despair. Rapture is currently held by the Orioles in their complacency, but that will soon change. Our rivals, the so-called Golden Saints. One day, Shea Gorath will finally recognize their bull-headed stupidity and expel them from the realm. The Holy Flame can only be lit from the altars of despair and rapture. Alas, the Orioles hold rapture. For now, you should speak to the Grakedric Ulfri at once. She will be glad of your help to rid Silarn of the arrogant Ariels once and for all. You know us as Dark Seducers, a name given us by our enemies. But we are the Mazkin in our own tongue, Sheogorath's only truly loyal servants. She is the Gorkedric, commander of the Mazkin here at Cylarn. She has never yet been defeated by the Orioles, despite their strength. For Sheogoreth's glory.
Sheogoreth's blessing. upon you. Hail. A mortal wandering the halls of Holy Cylarn, and a male no less. Explain yourself. Then I am at your service. The Grok Hedrick Ulfri commands here. You will wish to speak to her at once, no doubt. We hold the Altar of Despair, here within the Shrine of the Flame of Agnon. Continue down the corridor if you wish to meditate there upon the fate of all things mortal. Walk with our Lord. Be gone, mortal, or you will soon find yourself between the Mazkin and their prey. A most dangerous place to be. We are preparing to wipe out the arrogant Ariels once and for all. Once they break themselves on our defenses, Cylarn will be ours, a gift for our Lord Sheogorath. Then you have arrived just in time to help us defend the Altar of Despair. Once the strength of the Aureoles is shattered, I will be honored to light the flame as my Lord Sheogorath commands. The two altars, Blessed Despair and Holy Rapture, feed the great flame of Agnon above us. Only Sheogorath's immortal servants can kindle the altars, and I am at my Lord's command. But I only hold despair for the moment. The Aureoles hold rapture and are massing to attack us. But never fear, they are no match for us. Once their main force is destroyed, with your help, we can easily take rapture from the few survivors. Then I will gladly kindle the flame for you. We are expecting the Orioles to attack any moment. They'll come down the main passage from the Altar of Rapture. They always do. They are overconfident as usual. We have prepared many traps and ambushes. It will be a glorious slaughter. Once the Orioles are destroyed, I will light the flame of Agnon for you. Will you help us defend the Altar of Despair? As you wish. But I advise you to join the winning side if you really want the flame relit. The Orioles will never drive us from Cylarn. Sheogorath's blessings upon you. This is no place for a mortal. We are about to join battle against the Maskin. You'd best stand aside. My pardon, Emissary. I am at your service. We are preparing to sweep the Maskin scum from Cylon. Perhaps Sheogorath sent you to help us. Go. Greetings, Emissary. We await your command. Greetings, Emissary. 
Only the servants of Sheogorath can light the flame by kindling the altars of despair and rapture which feed the flame. Alas, we hold only the altar of rapture. The treacherous mess can hold the altar of despair. We must control both to light the flame. If you help us seize the altar of despair from the Maskin, I will be honored to kindle the flame of Agnon for my lord Sheogorath. The flame is fed from the altar of rapture and the altar of despair. Only servants of Sheogorath can kindle the altars. Once we capture the altar of despair from the Maskin, it will be my great honor to light the flame for lord Sheogorath. The treacherous ones, the dark seducers of ill repute, whose every action drags Sheogorath's holy name through the mud. The only way to assault the Altar of Despair is down the main passage between the two altars. It will be difficult. The Maskin have fortified their position, but I am confident that with your help, we can defeat them. Will you help us retake the Altar of Despair and drive the Maskin out of Cylarn once and for all? Ah, Meryl's beloved surprise attack. A perfect example of why males do not hold command positions. He has failed to consider the risks of his plan. If the Maskin have prepared an ambush along that route, we would be slaughtered. We're better off storming the main passage, where our superior strength and blade work can come into play. Are you ready to help us destroy the Maskin and take control of the Altar of Despair? Are all males so obstinate? Have I not already told you that I consider that route too risky? What makes you think you can persuade me when my own lieutenant cannot? You've seen this with your own eyes? I must be sure it isn't a trap if I'm to take such a risk. Meryl was very convincing as well. Very well, we'll risk it. The Underdeep it is. May Sheogorath's divine madness possess us today.
The altar of despair is ours. But the Kill battle the is not him. over yet. Defensive positions. is ours. I have already selected a candidate for the honor of kindling the altar of rapture. I will now claim the honor of victory for myself here on the altar of despair. The altars can only be kindled by the willing sacrifice of a maskin or an oriole. It is my great honor to release my soul to oblivion in service to Lord Sheogorath. Farewell. I will not walk these lands for many a year. Go.
pretty quickly, mortal. You've brought it! The holy flame of Agnon, the fire of inspiration and rapture! If you light the great torch on the mania side of the Sasellum, you will be a hero to the people of bliss, I assure you. Do not think about it. Dream about it. Let your mind soar on flights of fancy. I know you will choose well in the end. Ah, you burn with the purging fire of Agnon. The flame of truth, the flickering beacon of hope in the gloom of despond. Come, light the great torch for dementia. Illuminate the conspiracies, deepen the shadows. The people of Crucible await their hero. Yes, let your mind worry at the problem. Let fear and dismay over making the wrong choice sink their talons deep into your brain. So, you've decided to light the torch for mania? You should know that in addition to the adulation of the people of bliss, there is also a more earthly reward. The hero who lights the great torch for mania is traditionally awarded the raiment of Arden Sul. Not that this should influence your choice at all. Now, what do you say? Do not think about it. It would be a truly demented act to light the great torch with a flame purchased with the blood of the Golden Saints. Come, light the great torch for dementia. Oh no! You don't want to do that. Don't believe their lies. They are no true friends. Don't you see it? How they whisper behind your back. No, light the torch for dementia, and you'll see how we treat our friends. Dementia takes care of its own. You know that the hero who lights the torch for dementia is granted the Ring of Intrigue, a boon for those who would gain access to hidden knowledge. Surely you will do what is right, won't you? Yes, let your mind worry at the problem. So, you've decided to light the torch for mania? I knew I saw the glint of true mania in your eyes, my child. Go now, and let the holy flame inspire the people of bliss to new heights of madness. The great torch shines with the pure light of mania. You chose well. In accordance with the ancient tradition, receive now the raiment of Arden Su in honor of your mighty deed in service to mania. Tread the humble path and find enlightenment. Aren't you off to a good start? That's important for me. Really, your work is going to save me a lot of time. The Grey March is upon us, and the ordering begins. Armies of order sweep my realm. Death, destruction. Then I have to pick up the pieces. And there are always lots of pieces. I don't like it. Having to rebuild my realm every era. Sometimes I forget where things go, like New Sheath. I can never remember where it belongs. You'll change that. Break the cycle. 
You'll stop Jigalag, and I'll have my realm to come back to. I've never actually tried that before. Why not? Something has to work! Once, I dug a pit and filled it with clouds. Or was it clowns? It doesn't matter. It didn't slow them down. To be honest, it wasn't the best idea. And it really began to smell. <gasps> Must have been clowns. Clouds don't smell bad. They taste of butter and tears. But this is all new. A fresh idea. Something I haven't thought of. Until I did. It sure to work. Even though it might not. Now... You'll need the respect of my citizens. They'll need a leader, someone to look up to when I'm gone. They're the backbone of any great land. Except where the backbone is an actual backbone. Ever been to Malakoff's realm? Oh, nasty stuff. But back to the business at hand. You'll need to control one of the carts of madness. Replace a current duke or duchess, whichever. That will command respect. The people will rally around you. You'll have their love, their admiration, their complaints, whatever, as long as it keeps them on our side. No. <laughs> no, no, no. Absolutely not. Well, yes, absolutely. Bit of a shame for them. But sometimes, you need to break a few eggs. Or skulls. There are rules, though, even in the Isles. Rituals and rules. You need to follow them. Speak to Artis and Ervenen, the high priest at the Sasellum Arden Sul. They can explain what needs to be done. And you've always got our man Haskell to call on for help. Faithful, like a good hound, that one. And he looks better in a suit. It's already started, but you might be able to stop it. We're making you into a leader that people can trust. Someone to look up to. Someone to blame. Once I'm gone, things usually get bad quickly. Lots of defections, lots of carnage, but with you at the helm, things will be different. This time, I'll beat him. I can't stand losing, and I don't mind cheating. Ta, come visit again, or I'll pluck out your eyes. <laughs> Ushnar in Crucible is afraid of cats. Cats! Misha is always following him around. Ushnar would do anything to stop it. Pleasure and pain be with you. You chose well. The Great Torch shines as a beacon of mania to inspire and inflame all who gaze upon it. we would all aspire to be as great a leader as the first, our savior, Arden Sul, the greatest duke of the ages. We celebrate him with the ritual of accession, the path to maniac bliss. An important part of our history, my friend. I would be glad to tell the tale if you have a moment. Arden Sul was perhaps the greatest duke to walk our land. Many years ago, he decided to hold a night of absolute indulgence, resplendent with dance, wine, and sex, to celebrate his fondness for his brethren. The green moat flowed like water in a stream as the revelers voraciously succumbed to its rapturous waves. Ah, but it was, as the bacchanal reached a crescendo, 
the people began to clutch their chests as their very hearts exploded. The green moat had taken its toll. The ground stained a deep crimson as the sanguine liquid flowed from their lifeless bodies. To represent that night, when the ruler of mania is to be replaced, he partakes of the green moat and allows his lifeblood to flow upon the altar. Certainly, when the ruler of mania has decided it is time, he will choose a successor from his court. The successor is invited to a huge celebration, a night of hedonistic revelry, wine, song, and of course, green moat. During this, the exiting regent imbibes three doses of the potent drug. This causes his heart to burst and his lifeblood flows from his body. The successor then gathers the drug-tainted blood and brings it to the altar of Arden Sul in the Sasellum. Once this is done, I will proclaim the successor a duke or duchess. Then, Shea Gorath gives his blessing and the cycle is completed. Another sheep returns to the flock. I'm disappointed in your choice. You'll find Mania to be a fickle friend. Seldom is the subject ever br Wait a moment. Did you want to hear the history of the ritual? Very well. Spoken like a true son of the demented. To become the ruler of dementia, the current leader's heart must be cut out and brought to the altar of Arden Sul in the Sasellum. Once this is done, I can pronounce the heart bearer a duke or duchess. Then, all that is required is the blessing of our lord, Sheogorath. You're back! How nice for you! Does that mean you've made a decision? Or are you lost? Suicidal? Just let me know. A friendly word of warning before you choose. Once you've decided which duke to replace, there's no turning back. One choice. No more. No less. Try not to do something stupid. So which is it? What will it be? Mania? Dementia? The suspense is killing me! Or you, if I have to keep waiting. I hate indecision. Or maybe I don't. Well, make up your mind, or I'll have your skin made into a hat. <gasps> One of those arrow catchers. I love those hats. Ta, come visit again, or I'll pluck out your eyes. <laughs> I'm disappointed in your choice. You'll find Mania to be a fickle friend. Blasphemy! Never utter the name of the Dark Deceiver lightly. Though his body is beyond oblivion, his soul encircles us, always watching, waiting to pounce with lethal aplomb. He is the bringer of pain and pleasure, the blade that cuts through our sins like a scythe through wheat. Only a true demented can appreciate what it means to render his name. Pleasure and pain be with you. Happy times, happy days. 
Yes, Arden Sue. Doesn't the name simply roll wonderfully off the tongue? He was the sovereign of thought and a regnant artist. To call him a simple craftsman would not suffice. Know him as the artificer superior. Words drip like honey from his tongue, and his songs were intoned with extraordinary verisimilitude. Had we been blessed with his constant presence, the Isles would be a maniac's paradise. Tread the humble path and find enlightenment. You're back! How nice for you! Does that mean you've made a decision? Or are you lost? Suicidal? Just let me know. Sil or Thin? Which will it be? A safer choice, perhaps. Maybe you'll live through this. Thaden's a bit lost these days. Not that it's a bad thing. It suits him. <laughs> Until now. Besides, won't it be a grand surprise when you make his heart burst from too much green moat? Thaden loves surprises. It'll be in full swing soon. Excited? You shouldn't be. It's the death of all things. But if we can get you into shape, we might stand a chance. You'll lead my forces, inspire my people. Hopefully, everyone won't end up dead. He'll be here soon, and I'll be gone. Can't say I like the sound of that. I like the sound of other things, though, like birds and bones cracking. We will speak when your task is complete. Confused already? How very disappointing. If I were you, and thank Sheyagorath that I'm not, I would begin with the people who spend their day closest to Thaden. Shame on you for polluting Crucible with the glaring light of mania. Ah! What? The Oriole do not waste time chatting with mortals. Bye. I'm sure. No time for chatter now. I have a few important things to attend to. Or did I? Ah, well. Speak, sister. Speak Welcome sister. to the Halcyon Conservatory. Welcome to the Halcyon Conservatory. What can I do for you on this fine, fine day? If I were you, I'd check with Thedon's steward, Wide Eye. You can usually find her roaming around New Sheath, or spending a lot of time on the palace grounds. May all your days be filled with enlightenment and mirth.
Cylarn is ours at last, <gasps> thanks to you. All hail the victor of Cylarn. All hail the great torch of mania. Ah, you're the one who lit the great torch for us. Well done. See you later. Sing to Big Head. Sing to him. Songs of Forks follow you. Something you need? I have much to offer, and I'm always on the lookout for more. That seems fair to me. Good deal. I can accept that. If you have anything else to sell, I'd gladly consider an offer. Take care. can I help you this fine day? Such a kind and noble man. In times like these, it's good to have a leader who still enjoys all the modern pleasures Mania has to offer. Well, yes, apart from enjoying his painting, reading a good book, or a rousing night of erotic bedroom games... I'm speaking of Greenmoat, of course. There is no greater pleasure. If I didn't have such a busy daily routine, I'd likely indulge myself in its pleasures more often. Very well. I see little harm in telling you. After a bit of reading in the garden and running my special errand at noon, I like to shop at Books of Bliss. Around 8 p.m. we are served dinner. Gundlar is quite a chef and prepares Thaden's meals personally, adding just a hint of green moat. After that, we dance, we sing, or we do whatever else suits my lord's tastes. Green moat is the refined version of the spores that are harvested from the spore trees that dot mania. We keep the green moat safely tucked inside the green moat silo. You can imagine the ruckus if its location was known. Only a select few, such as myself, know the silo's location. However, we are sworn to secrecy. There isn't enough gold or enough jokes in the world that would convince me to tell you where the green moat is located. Yes, I must attend to him. Speaking to you has already cost me time. I must go.
your lips to his ears. I've heard of such a grand place. Ah, to imagine all that wonderful green wood under one roof. You've already rented a room. I'm sure there are no problems.
once again we meet. We'll speak again.
pleasure, I'm sure. No time for chatter now. I have a few important things to attend to. Or did I? Ah, well. There's no need to mourn. The ritual has begun. Be happy. May all your days be filled with enlightenment and birth. I never suspected it was Thaden's time, but what's done is done. I honor his choice. I'm sure we'll speak again. Once again has the ritual of accession come full circle. The blood of Thaden has been consumed by Arden Sul's will, and all of Mania welcomes you with open arms. I now declare you Duke of Mania of the Shivering Isles. May your light shine upon all our happiest days. May Arden Sul enrich your mind. The ritual is complete, and you've survived! A shame about Theden, but it's how he would have wanted it to go. Now, on to other... Wait, I must speak. The ritual must not be completed. Sil! You dare interrupt me? Only 
I interrupt me? Like just then. I'm speaking with someone. We'll talk later. Or not. When is later exactly? Not now, I'm sure of that. Guards! I think Syl forgot how to use the door. Kindly show her out before I forget myself. Faden? Dead? You've done this. It was you all along. Hold your tongue, little duchess, or I'll tear it from your mouth. Replacing Thaden with this outsider? This is how it ends. I should have seen this coming. Calm yourself, Syl. You're making my teeth itch. You still hold your office? I suggest you see to your duties. No, I see what's going on. I should have seen it before. You conspire to destroy us all. You're a fool if you think I'll allow this to happen. Fool? Visionary! Changes in the air, Syl. Breathe it deep. Bathe in its scent. Bottle it up. Save some for later. Order stands at our door. They've taken the fringe. Did you even know? Do you care? And you speak of change. Change will preserve us. It is the lifeblood of the Isles. It will move mountains. It will mount movements. No, I can't do this. There has to be a way out. A way to escape. Then go, Sil. Return to your quarters before I send you back in pieces. Yes, that's what I'll do. I'll go. The enemy of my enemy orders the key. I'll keep them close. No! Let her go. This is not over, Mad God. I give myself to Jigalag. As a priest of order, I'll be safe. Your empire will crumble before the armies of order. Wondering why I let her go, aren't you? can see it in your face, mostly in the eyes. I may take those from you when this is done. This has never happened before. The ruler of dementia turning traitor? Unprecedented. I've seen others defect, but never a duke. Maybe we're onto something here. We'll see how it plays out. It can't be worse than what's happened before. I do, I did, and I won't say it again. But that's enough about that. You're the ruler of mania. Oh, just look at you. You're positively beaming. You now have the power to summon golden saints. They've always served the Duke of Mania. I think it's the bright colors. They just love them. And here is the Ring of Lordship, a symbol of your new station. Symbols are important. They carry weight in this realm and others. You would be well served to remember that. She was right about that. I can feel it in my bones. Little ones. The Grey March has swept the fringe. Aura gathers its forces there as we speak. And I hate when people gather forces in my fringe. You'll need to put an end to that. Stop them. My army should already be there. But I want you to see what you can do to help. If they continue to marshal their forces there, we won't be able to contain them. Make sure they can't. It swept the fringe. That's not good. See if you can't hold them off there. Because if you can't, everyone is going to die. 
no pressure. They'll get more and more active as the Grey March continues. If they've already taken the fringe, they must have one there already. I really hate those things. Ta, come visit. sleep at home, so I just walk around. Can't sleep.
violated the inner sanctum of Vython. What say you in your defense? Wisely answered. My people and I are in need. Maybe you can help us. Centuries ago, Vython was overrun by fanatics. We were soft and failed to defend ourselves. I was the weakest of all. Now, the shades of my people are cursed by Sheagorath to repeat the final moments of their failures over and over again. You must help us break the cycle of torment. Help my people overcome their weakness and defend Vytharn from the fanatics. Walk among them. There were four who failed to protect the gate lever. Find out what they did wrong and help them correct it. You can put away your sword in these halls. Unlike the defending spirits, within these walls none will war with you, not even the fanatics. Was my sin so great that I must suffer for all eternity? Do you seek to deepen my despair by reminding me of my greatest failure? Four people failed in their duties that day, allowing the fanatics to open the main gate. In the end, I failed with them. At the moment of my death, Lord Sheagorath appeared. We had already earned his wrath for sins of pride. He told me that the spirits of my people would remain bound here, replaying our cowardice as a lesson to those that thwarted his will. some commoner to take up a sword. Let the rabble risk their lives, not me. I'm praying for the gods to protect me from the fanatics. Prior Dreth has tasked me to pray for Vython's safety. Prior Dreth met with the fanatics to turn them away. They did not see the wisdom of his words. Instead, they sent soldiers to sneak into the keep. The defenders in the bailey failed to stop them from opening the main gates. For Vithar! I'm praying for the gods to protect me. be 
laid to rest. Please help them. Just fight the fanatics. I Shit. Don't know. Grow Orkel, Warden of the Armory. If you need weapons or armor, I've got them. The fanatics are about to break into the courtyard. It's a good thing I've kept all the weapons and armor in good condition. If I let those soldiers use them, they'd be all dented by now. Everyone wants my weapons, but they're my weapons, mine. My betrothed! I must save her! We tried to gather the townsfolk into the keep, but it was too late. I barely had time to find my betrothed and get us inside. The gate was closed behind us. I heard the townsfolk pounding on the gate, but not for long because then the screaming began. I'm supposed to defend the courtyard against the fanatics supposed to stop them from getting inside the key. I control You cannot stop me! One, two, three, I need my arrows. Five, seven, eleven. I can't get them. Thirteen, seventeen, nineteen. If I leave, who will keep up the count? Twenty-three, twenty-nine, thirty-one. Zero nine. Ah, oh, the doll. Poor Desideratus. One by fanatics killed his whole family. Nine six. That doll is all he has left of them. Five five nine four. One six one. I was the first to spot the invaders. Eight zero three. I was on patrol when I saw their skirmishers marching toward Bythorn. Three nine eight. I rode back as fast as I could to tell Count Syrian of the danger. Eight seven four. He went and hid. Nine eight nine. 14, 11, I must guard the lever that opens the gate. 9, 4, if the gate is opened, the fanatics will overrun Vython. 
8271. You have arrows, 8288. Now let the battle be joined, 182. Why aren't you counting, 845? My betrothed! My beloved, I'll carry her away to safety. Should the fanatics get her, I... I... I would have to kill them all! She's the love of my life. I would do anything to save her. The citizens are in my way. Should I kill them? No. Too bad. If only I had more magicka, I could kill the fanatics and then rule this town. You mean that stupid doll? I think he's been blessed a little too well by Lord Cheagorath. He's on the list. Not first, though. Definitely not first. The fanatics? What's to understand? They were just after my power. But it's mine! All mine! They wanted me to convert Vylar, but I fooled them. I put them on the list. Oh yes, they're on the list now. Because we refuse to convert, they lay siege to Vylar. If they had agreed to let me rule, I would have helped them. But now, they're on the list. The Sacred Stones! You've desecrated them with your touch. You're on the list for sure now. I would never have allowed myself to do that. However, now that they are befouled, I can use them. You may grovel in gratitude at my feet later. So 
someone muffle the door? The sounds of combat are disturbing me. I sat here and feasted while others fought. Thus I earned my doom. Was my sin so great that I must suffer for all eternity? Desiderotus is a gentle fool. I never should have allowed him to take up the sword. My curse will not allow me to help you with his need. See you later. Those fanatics are so tired. My betrothed! You burned her? She's gone? You've driven all meaning from my life. I shall throw myself upon the swords of the fanatics so that I may join her sooner. My betrothed is gone. I cannot live without her. I only hope I can take a fanatic with me. She would want me to. Something different. The curse feels lighter somehow. The defenders of the gate were not the only ones to fail their town. My greatest shame is that I was struck by cowardice and fled. Like my people, I am doomed to repeat the actions of my cowardice. Alone, I cannot redress this wrong. However, you can. Take my helm. With it, you can take my place in the defense of the gate. Defeat the devoted fanatic in combat, and the curse will be lifted. Be warned, though. While you wear the helm, it is as if you are one of us. You are trapped in these ruins until you lift our curse. Was my sins... Doomed! Doomed, I tell you! 
We're doomed! Doomed, I tell you! Lifted the curse. All of Vita thanks you. You may keep my helmet. It never did me much good. You have lifted the curse. the one who lit the great torch for us. Well done. I have much to offer and I'm always on the lookout for more. That's a good deal. If you have anything else to sell, I'd gladly consider an offer. See you.
Welcome to the Halcyon Conservatory. Welcome to the House of Mania. We've received reports that the Fringe has come under attack by the forces of order. We've been commanded to hold our posts and be watchful. Go. Your Grace, a dark time has been thrust upon us. Passwall is under attack. We are outmatched and outnumbered. At first light, the spire at the center of town became active. Immediately, the area around it began to crystallize and change. Soon after that, the sky darkened and the nights came. The nights are relentless. They do not tire, they do not fear, and they do not stop coming. They appear out of nowhere at the base of the spire. We kill five of them, five more come. We've lost too many of the Orioles already. I fear that we will not be able to hold the town for much longer. You've seen the spire in Passwall. It is believed to be a monument from times past, but its true purpose appears to be more sinister. It appears to be a source of power for these invaders. A... a portal or some sort of gate. I don't know. If we cannot disable or destroy it somehow, I do not think that we can stop this invasion. I have an idea how we might be able to stop them, but for now we must survive. I've been losing Orioles with each attack, and I'm down to nothing but men. We are pinned down here. If we lose, the gates of madness will fall. 
If the gates fall, the enemy will flood into the Isles. We will be helpless to stop them. But now that you've arrived, perhaps we can slow them down. We cannot talk now. We don't have very long until the next wave arrives. Even though I have served with these Orioles for centuries, as the Duke of Mania, it is your right to command the troops. Command them if you will, or leave it to me. Either way, make haste. Our time is short. Speak to each of the Orioles to give them your orders. The front line will arm themselves with axes of war. They will hold the line against the enemy's charge. Those who you designate as archers will head to the rear and keep their distance when the enemy draws close. Those with blades and shields will hold the flank. When the enemy draws close, they will close in and attack. I thank you for your trust. In your name, and for the sake of the Shivering Isles, I shall not disappoint you. Inspect the battlefield and provide what aid you can to the troops. Speak with me when you feel that they are ready for battle. Form up! By the staff, we will not allow this town to fall. Are you prepared for battle, Your Grace? Provide what aid you can, but I beg you to make haste. The enemy does not wait long between attacks. We will keep fighting until the last of us is dead. The knights began arriving shortly after the spire activated. They seem to have no interest in pushing us back, only in killing those who resist. Passwall has served as an outpost for our defense of the realm for millennia. We will defend this land until we are dead. Have you provided the soldiers with aid? We have little in the way of supplies here. No healing, no restoration. If you have done all that you can, are you prepared to face the enemy? The enemy will be upon us soon. May the blessings of our Lord protect us all. Here they come! at last, thanks to you. Victory is ours, for the moment. We must discuss our next move. The Spire is obviously their source of power. This battle will not end until we find a way to shut it down. I am not certain, but do not lose heart. I have an idea. The ruins of Zedafen run under Passwall. The entrance to the south of the town has been sealed for centuries. One of my scouts reported that the ruins have been opened recently, and a number of these knights are now guarding the entrance. I did, and she did not return. I can only assume that she was caught and killed. If we attempt to assault Zedafen, Passwall will be overrun and we will lose the fringe. Additionally, our forces are dangerously thin. We have no idea what opposition may await us inside. Your insight is... impressive. While we draw their attention here, you should be able to slip inside Zedafen. 
Once inside, search for the source of the spire's power. It must be underground somewhere. Once you find it, destroy it. Good luck, Your Grace. May the truth light your way through the darkness. The knights are relentless. We are the only thing standing between them and the total destruction of the Fringe. This town has stood on the edge of the Shivering Isles since they were born from the mists of time. For our purposes, it serves as a defensible outpost. That is, against typical enemies who can know fear, intimidation, and hopelessness. You've seen the Spire in Passwall. It is believed to be a monument from times past, but its true purpose appears to be more sinister. It seems to be a source of power for these invaders, a... a portal or some sort of gate. I don't know. If we cannot disable or destroy it somehow, I do not think that we can stop this invasion. Go.
It's you. I remember you. What are you doing down here? How did you get past the knights? When they attacked, I ran from Passwall. They didn't say a word. They just started killing. The screams. By the staff, you can't imagine the screams. Fellas and I slipped down here, thinking we'd be safe. But no, we landed right in the middle of them. Fellas ran off with them and left me to die. Me! That ingrate, disloyal cur, imagine leaving me here all alone! <laughs> I didn't say they took him, he went with them. I've heard his voice a few times around here. I think, I think he joined them. Every time I look for a way out, I get twisted around and end up back here. But I'm too smart for them. You seem to have no trouble, though. Look at you. Barely a scratch. You'd be the perfect person to protect me. Oh, sorry. I wasn't aware that being a courageous hero was a requirement around here. Look, you may be a scamp's ass, but I'm offering you the chance to be the hero of Passwall. Escort me out of here, protect me, get me home, and those people will praise you more than you can imagine. I'll do what I can to help. I... I like to hurt things. Maybe I can hurt these damn knights. Can we get out of here? What do you think I'm doing? I'm not sticking this close to you because I enjoy your pleasing aroma.
get this. I found the easy road. How are things going over there? this place. These fools need me. I... I cannot believe it. You survived. We were certain that your light had been lost. I apologize for doubting you, Your Grace. You are a most worthy leader, perhaps the greatest warrior to ever hold the seat of Mania. But I fear that our work is not yet done. The area is still overrun with knights that were not destroyed in the Spire. You should return to the palace and speak with Sheogora. Ask him how he plans to defend this realm. Haswell must have a new dawn. The struggle will be great, but I have no doubt that we shall overcome this dark time. Whatever you did overloaded it and brought the whole thing down. It collapsed Zedef in itself. I'm amazed that you were not killed. Go. Everything is just so desolate. My inn is ruined and... Oh, it's terrible! Tove, the unrestful in bliss, is collecting items to build something. See you. Cylarn is ours at last. Yes, is there something you require? In the fringe, you can see for yourself the devastation that accompanies the Grey March. Let us hope you are up to the task of stopping it. The appearance of the Knights of Order heralds the beginning of the Grey March. As Lord Sheogorath feared, our time grows ever shorter. Unlike typical invaders, the knights do not arrive by conventional means. Instead, they enter the Shivering Isles through conduits into this realm. 
These crystalline obelisks have existed throughout the realm for all of eternity. You will find they become more active as the Grey March progresses. Although they are not composed of flesh as you know it, like any other enemy, they can be destroyed with sword and spell. Separate the meat from bone and they will die. When they do so, their crystalline hearts often remain intact. These hearts are a source of power for the agents of order. You may find them quite useful in certain situations. Lord Sheogorath has never succeeded in doing so. They continue to grow in numbers until Jigalag himself arrives. That advance can be slowed. By destroying the obelisks, the knights lose their conduits into the isles. Very well, Your Grace. Will there be anything else? The obelisks operate by reflecting and focusing energies in order to create a portal to this realm. They can be overloaded and rendered inert by placing the crystalline hearts of the knights into the obelisk itself. Each heart will increase the power of the obelisk until it eventually overloads and shuts down, closing the portal. Enlightening as always. News of your success in the fringe precedes you. To further cement the victory, I have an important task for you to perform. You will seek the assistance of Relmina Vernum in Zalselm to rebuild the gatekeeper. You remember the creature you killed to get in here. With the gatekeeper restored and Zedillion in operation, we won't have to worry about anything getting in. Things already here are another matter. You'll need to speak with Relmina Vernum. She'll help you with your task. Strange woman has some unusual tastes. With that done, the fringe should be secure. For now, I can feel things start to get a little hairy. And not in the good way, like on your head. It's all moving faster than I'd expect. And I'm good at expecting. Things are getting a bit thin. Get that gatekeeper in place and do it quickly. I'm not sure how much time I have left. He's almost here. I can feel it. You won't like him as much as me. He doesn't even carry a cane. More the giant bone cleaving sword type of prince. If he's on his way, I'm on my way out. I already feel not quite myself. Not quite someone else, but not quite myself. It's essential. Simply essential. If only it were essentially simple, but it's not. I want him there guarding those gates. If any of Jigalag's forces show up, he should be ready for them. It wouldn't do to just let them in if more show up. And more always show up. Still and all, I think things are going well, considering. Go talk to Relmina in Zassel. Tell her you're working for me. Oh, she'd do anything for me, that little minx. A powerful sorceress. Maybe a genius? <laughs> and a complete lunatic. All in all, my kind of person. I brought her to my realm so she could continue to study her sixth element. Honestly, I didn't know there were five already. She's a bit obsessed with it. And with me! Makes dealing with her difficult. You shouldn't have any problems, though. No one likes you that much. Send Relmina, my love.
Remember you. You're the adventurer who slew my gatekeeper, are you not? The ends justify the means, do they? You'll pay for that one day. Now, by all means, come right in. Walk in here as if you own the place. By what authority do you disturb me? Jayagorath is too important to come on his own account. He sends his mortal lackey. Well then, I trust my servants didn't give you too hard a time getting in here. <laughs> what is it Jayagorath's lackey requires of me? Oh, does he now? Fine. If it be my lord's will, then it is also my own. But I'm too distraught over the death of my child to return to his womb. This you must do. You will travel to the gardens of flesh and bone. There you will gather mystical components needed for the ceremony. Go fetch me blood liqueur, osseous marrow, dermis membrane, and essence of breath. And take this key. It will allow you into the gardens and give you direct access to my sanctum. You will travel to the gardens of flesh and bone and collect for me these things. Blood... Are you not the exalted duke? Slayer of the Great Gatekeeper, champion of our mighty Lord Sheagorath? I'm sure you'll be able to find these things, 
If not, perhaps Sheagorath's faith in you is misplaced. Go now. You try my patience. For many years, I labored painstakingly in those gardens until my back bent and my soul became crooked. But the fruits born of that labor were the essential components of true flesh. You will go there and gather the components needed to bring my new child into this world. If you visit Hale, you may see Pike, a Knight of the Thorn. Oh, you mean my research subjects? Don't trouble yourself with their fates. They're volunteers of one sort or another. Besides, they are furthering important research into the nature of pain and suffering, of life and death. Don't be concerned. I always return the worthy ones to life. Besides, Lord Sheagorath has sanctioned my studies and my methods. Any loyal servant of the Mad God would respect his decision in this matter. I know your type. You believe yourself better than everyone else. You persecute genius when you find it because we are able to see around the sharp corners of your simplified morality. I see the vast horizons of thought while you cannot see past the tip of your own nose. I can grant the guilty the cleansing fire of retribution so they may die purified of soul. And I can grant the worthy everlasting life. And what can you offer the world except the hot air escaping through that hole in your head? Out of deference to my Lord Sheagorath, I will allow this outburst. In fact, I will acquiesce to your request. But only if you can prove to me the sincerity of your position and the depth of your conviction. Are you willing to trade places with these souls? To bear the full weight of their pain and afflictions? Weigh this question carefully. Are you sure? You will not easily heal the damage done to you. This is a permanent sacrifice you are making. In fact, it is likely you will die. Perhaps you had better reconsider. Truly. Very well. I wasn't quite finished with them. But as long as you remain in Sheagorath's favor, I will not conduct experiments on these people. Very well. This might hurt a little. Ah, no, no! Make it stop! Make it stop! Ah! Shea duke or not, you try my patience. Are you confused about your task? Did you like that? Pain can be pleasure. You enjoy being in pain, do you? Here, I'm sure you'll enjoy these, then. Away with you, dog, and fetch yeah. me those cup- Hey, come on! Ah.
a Gorath's duke or not, you... Away with you, dog, and fetch me those... No way. I'm never talking to you ever again. After she found out what I told you, she... She... You have no idea what pain is until she... She... Just leave me alone. Go away. Speak quickly, water.
Everything is gone. What a shame. I amaze me. have returned with all the components? Excellent! All that remains is to choose the body parts. Fearing one day someone might manage to kill my child, I have been preparing a new body. I've created versions of each appendage. With various enhancements, you must choose one of each. I am attached to them all. Artist's prerogative. Select one pair of legs, one left arm, right arm, torso, head, and heart. See me when you have finished your selections. Thaden's dead. They're all just bags of meat to me. Take all day making your choices. Yeah. Hey, come on now. What's going on? You've made your selection. Now we travel to the statue of our Lord in the fringe. There we will perform the ceremony. Make haste.
Shall we start the ceremony? First, place the gatekeeper's body into the cistern of substantiation. Place the gatekeeper's body into the cistern of substantiation. At the beginning of the worlds were five. Fire, water, earth, air, and light. Darkness turned into day. The void took form. Hidden away by virtue of its own self-awareness was the sixth, containing within the five which birthed it. Flesh! The desire to consume like fire. Place the germs into the system. Blood, liquid nutrient. That ocean which casts pearls of life upon the shores of existence. Place the blood liquor into the cistern of substantiation. and stone of the body, giving shape and structure. Place the osseous mirror into the system. Breath, child of air, bestowing movement, the stirring of spirit. Place the essence of breath into the system of substantiation. And last, the light of flesh, the illumination of soul, perception, thought, memory, imagination. I summon thee, walker in flesh, flesh of true flesh, from those waters of oblivion which sire thy kind. Come to this altar, join with this Essence of flesh joined with the essence of flesh, absolute, immortal, immortal, bound to contingent. Stand clear of the cistern over here by me. Honored Daedra, fear not thy abasement. Thou shalt be the holy in this temple. I bind thee, Astronaut, to this body. Henceforth, gatekeeper of the Shivering Isles. My child, it is time to fulfill your destiny. Stand guard in this land against all those who seek entry, not bearing the mark of shared or the Darkness of spirit. What's this? My child, they're coming! Destroy them! Show them your true power! Either way, tell him of our doings here. Send him my tribute.
your child stands guard once again. unload some goods, you've come to the right place. I can accept that. Seems fair to me. If you have anything else to sell, take care. What? Greetings. Speak quickly, mortal. do delicate things with madness ore. It tingles across the flesh when it cuts. What shall I forge for you? With enough force, this will cleave through meat and bone. I've got the sharpest blades in the aisles. Maybe anywhere. Take a look. Santer may sell a lot of books, but that's not why the men visit her. See you later. Always a pleasure. A new gatekeeper! Excellent! We might be on to something with you after all. That should keep out the stragglers. And the sea, you've learned how to summon flesh atronauts. Relmina must like you, little duke. But probably not in that way. Lord Cheyagora, I apologize for the intrusion, but you must help us. Order has attacked Pinnacle Rock 
and routed us. Well, well. What a turn of events this is. It's new, and I like new, even if it's bad. And this is bad, isn't it? My, my. This is a particularly exciting turn of events, is it not? A perfect job for you, my newest and only noble in the realm. If order has entered my army stronghold, things have taken a disturbing turn. It means order has tried subterfuge, not its strong suit. Ha ha ha! Amazing! Perhaps things aren't going as poorly as I'd imagined. You'll want to get all the details from the messenger. Unless you already have. You haven't, have you? Well, aren't you precious? Do you really not know? Haven't you noodled it all through yet? Because he is me! I'm him! We're a bit of each other, really. I, I won't be here when he arrives because I'll be him! Happens every time. The Grey March starts, order appears, and I become Jigalag and wipe out my whole realm! Soon. Too soon! I can already feel the change beginning. I feel like I'm not quite here. I'm not over there yet, but I'm not quite here! And I've been having moments of clarity that are quite unlike me. Like now. Stop it! Oh no, can't do it! Believe me, I've tried! It never ends well. But you're still going to stop the Grey March! Stop Jigalag! Me? From destroying my realm! Now? Nothing has changed! You deal with this messenger! Make sure my army is secure! You'll need them! Your job is still to stop it! And to stop Jigalag! Well, you've already forced Order's hand. No stopping now. Some things can't be stopped. Trust me, I've tried. Cats out of the bag on that one, isn't it? Who puts cats in bags anyway? Cats hate bags. Soon, I'll turn into Jigalag. There's no stopping it. That doesn't excuse you from your duties, though. Get to it! Ta! Come visit again! Or out! Look out your eyes! <laughs> yes, is there something you require? The Grey March continues, and Lord Sheogorath believes you may be the key to stopping it. Do as he commands. The realm depends on it. I understand my lord has told you what is to come. It is one of the great mysteries of the Shivering Isles. Perhaps only the princes themselves know why it is so. I do not. I know only that Sheogorath wishes for you to succeed. Of this I am certain. The obelisks operate by reflecting and focusing energies in order to create a portal to this realm. They can be overloaded and rendered inert by placing the crystalline hearts of the knights into the obelisk itself. Each heart will increase the power of the obelisk until it eventually overloads and shuts down, closing the portal. If only we could speak more often. Your Grace. Be quickly, mortal. Your Grace, there is trouble. 
You must come quickly. Adeo sent me as a messenger to find you. Pinnacle Rock is under attack and she needs your assistance at once. The forces of order have overwhelmed us and forced us from the stronghold. We must regain control. She is leading what is left of our forces. She waits for you outside Pinnacle Rock. Please hurry to her before it is too late. It is our home, our sanctuary in the Shivering Isles. If we were to lose it, my kind would be doomed. Please, Your Grace, hurry to Pinnacle Rock while there's still time. Med God's blessings. Walk with our Lord. Yeah! Med God's blessings. Walk with our Lord.
Thank you for coming. I apologize for summoning you. The blame is mine. We've lost control of Pinnacle Rock. Syl let them in. We had no idea she would turn on us. They captured our commander, Dylora, and have her imprisoned somewhere inside. Our first priority must be rescuing her. Syl had called her aside, separating her from the group. She meant to divide our numbers when order entered, making us easier targets. They imprisoned Ilora somewhere within Pinnacle Rock. If they killed her, she could return to us, so they keep her hostage. If we follow the waters of the Wellspring, we will surely find her. Still let them in. More than I could count. It was all we could do to fall back and regroup out here. We must free Dylora as soon as possible. She will know what to do. Forgive me for saying so, Your Grace, but I find taking orders from the Duke of Mania to be unsettling. You are the only remaining Duke, which is a situation quite unprecedented. Normally, you would never be permitted to pass within Pinnacle Rock. Given the need for swift action, the normal customs shall need to be overlooked for now. We shall be right behind you, Your Grace.
Yeah. must set me free. The barrier can't be broken by you. It's too tough. Use the chime. Bring the chime. And that may shatter it. You have my thanks for freeing me, but just who are you? Your Grace, I am sorry. I did not realize. Where is Syl? Have you seen her, that traitorous coward? Syl, the snake. She showed up, asked for a contingent of guards, said there was trouble at the palace and that we were needed. We were so focused on organizing quickly that by the time we realized she'd let order in herself, it was too late. We were split up and picked off. But it doesn't matter anymore. The only thing that matters now is the wellspring. We must reach it at once. The wellspring of the Mazkin. It's what links us to this realm, where we return to the world from the waters of oblivion. If Syl helps order sever that link, my kind will be annihilated. The realm will be lost to us. We must get to the Wellspring and stop them. I will follow your lead. The Wellspring is at the heart of Pinnacle Rock. Follow the waters to reach it. I am yours to command your grace. What would you have me tell you about it? Pinnacle Rock was given to us by our Lord Sheagorath as a sanctuary and place of restoration. It is our home. It is where our numbers are strengthened and where we return to the realm from the waters of oblivion. What else would you ask of me? They are a key part of the ceremony for restoring fallen comrades. The ringing of the chimes is said to help call the souls back to Pinnacle Rock, guiding them to us so they may return to our Lord's service. What else would you ask of me? The Wellspring is a sinecure, a place where the animus of lost Mazkin can return to this realm from the waters of oblivion. The darkness is a frightening place, even to us. And so our Lord has given us this beacon, a light to guide us back to him. What else would you ask of me? As you wish, your grace. What reason could she have to turn on Lord Sheagareth himself? She must know that he will find and punish her. We will catch her and will turn her over ourselves. Her treachery cannot be allowed to stand. The waters of oblivion lead us to the wellspring, 
where Lord Sheagorath has given us a place to return to his service. We must prevail. The wellspring. They've stopped it up. You, you must make it to the wellspring and let the waters flow.
I am yours to command your grace. Our own Duchess, aligned with the forces of order, an infuriating thought. She will suffer greatly at the hands of Lord Sheagorath. Your grace has restored the wellspring and saved us. For this we thank you. We must purge order from our home. The wellspring is restored. You saved us. We are forever grateful, your grace. Please, allow me to teach you this spell, so that you may summon our kind to you in times of need. Also, accept this gift of armor. It is the least I can do to show thanks for your help. No sign of her yet. We'll do our best to track her down and deliver her to Lord Sheagorth for a fitting punishment. The traitor must be brought to justice. Our warriors will scour the halls of Pinnacle Rock, removing any last elements of opposition. Then, we will immediately return to our duties. Indeed, Lord Sheagorath will be anxious to hear of your victory, I am sure. Your grace has restored the wellspring and saved us. For this, we thank you. Blessings, dark sister. Blessings, dark God's blessings. Always a pleasure. Time. Time is an artificial construct, an arbitrary system based on the idea that events occur in a linear direction at all times. Always forward, never back. Is the concept of time correct? Is time relevant? It matters not. One way or another, I fear that our time has run out. As I feared it would, my plan has failed. The Grey March is upon us, and I must go. I thought we had more time. I thought we had a chance. My plan has failed, and we were so close! Optimism! Ha! Oh, 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 oh. How adorable! I love it! Even at the end, you make me laugh! <laughs> I'm lying. That wasn't funny at all. No matter. Soon you and everyone else will be dead, and I will be left a mad god. Ruler of a dead realm again. What happens is what always has happened. What always will happen. I crumble. I fade. The realm dies. 
and you with it. Flee while you can, mortal. When we next meet, I will not know you, and I will slay you like the others. I had intended to give you my staff, the symbol of my office, but life is gone from it as it goes from me. It is now dead wood, a useless twig. With the staff, there was hope, but now hope is dead. I am dead. The realm. Sheogorov is dead! Always a pleasure. All shall crumble before Sheogorov! Always a pleasure. He is gone, but hope is not lost. We have a rare opportunity here, but I hesitate to do what must be done. If the throne of madness remains empty when Jigalag storms the palace, he will prevail. But there is a chance that the throne may not be empty. My duty now is to the realm. By serving you, I serve Lord Sheogorath. The only way to protect the realm from the Grey March is to place you in the Throne of Madness. True, but perhaps you can hold the throne, provided that you possess the proper symbol of office, namely the Staff of Sheogorath. Unfortunately, when Sheogorath faded, the power of the Staff faded with him. It must now be remade. The staff is the symbol of power in this realm. He who rightfully holds the staff may hold the throne of the Shivering Isles. However, the secrets of its construction are lost. That which is lost can be found again. There is one being in the Shivering Isles who may be able to assist you in the construction of a new staff. The ruins of Knife Point Hollow once served as a great library. There you will find a door. Behind that door you will find the answer you seek. Although I hesitate to guide you towards this path, the secrets of the past will surely aid Jigalag, but I fear that we have no other choice. Be mindful of what you find there. The library is a thing of order, and it will still serve that end. Take this crystal. It contains the power to open the sealed door. Inside, you will find the final remnants of the library. Knife Point Hollow is near the core of the Shivering Isles. Follow the setting sun to the border of Mania. Climb the cliff there to the top. At the peak, you will find Knife Point Hollow. While not the source of the Daedric Prince's authority, each Daedric artifact provides that prince with a measure of power. Lord Sheogorath chose you to sit on his throne. With the staff, you may be able to do just that. If only we could speak more often. Welcome to the House of Mania. Welcome to the Halcyon Conservatory.
Welcome to the Halcyon Conservatory. Welcome to the House of Mania. Anywhere, take a look. You got a good, a fair bargain. That seems fair to me. You got a good deal there. I, I can accept a fair bargain. If you need more, you know where to find me. Bye. Rainy Roo. I'll calicrack the fine do. Gal burst in it. Poison can be deadly. They don't like magic much. Though. I don't like you. I don't like my double even more. I don't like you, but I hate that other Jitsuzo more. Those manics are crazy. Crazy. Make yourself useful. Talk with Horkvir. The proper Horkvir. He runs this place. Let's see you. I try to steer clear of the big bugs. <coughs> I'd get more work done if it weren't for my layabout double living in town. Terrible drain on productivity. Never know who's who. It's been a problem for too long. A wizard did it. Stupid layabout mage had a theory about each of us having a manic and demented side. He decided to test the theory, cast a spell, split us all in two, 
Do we get twice the work done? No. Ridiculous. We're not allowed to take care of it, either. There are rules. And I don't want to end up on the hill of suicides. You, on the other hand... Get rid of that demented bunch. Useless, anyway. Don't get a lick of work done around this town. If you get rid of them, I'll make it worth your while. Too much thinking, not enough work getting done. Fine, you think it over, but stay away from the other me, that demented Horkvir. He'll try to offer you the same kind of deal, that handsome devil, but he can't be trusted. Make the right decision. There would be more corpses to count if someone would get rid of all the doubles around here. Sure would be nice to see one more corpse around here. One that looks like me, but isn't me. Take my meaning? See you later. What? Know what's funny about having a double? Nothing. Why did I cross the road? To avoid the other Jizuzo. That's no joke. Hi. Tove the unrestful in bliss is collecting. Don't bare your teeth at me, you beast. How about you use those fangs on my double? Take care. Hi. My double is always working. It takes all my energy just watching him work. It's got to stop. It's a problem, all these doubles walking around. And it's tiresome. Didn't used to be like this. Some blasted mage had a theory. They've always got theories. He thought there was a manic and a demented in each of us. So what does he do? What else? Casts a spell. You can see how well that went. Two of each of us walking around this place. Nothing we can do about it either. There's a law about that here. Been to the Hill of Suicides? Not a nice place. But you might be able to help. Only one group can stick around. Either we demented, or those blasted manics. The only way we'll find any peace. You get rid of those manics, all of them. If you can take care of that for me, I'd make it worth your while. Yeah, whatever. This whole conversation has worn me out. Just stay away from the other hook, Vier. He might offer you the same deal, but that guy is crazy. Trust me. Made up your mind yet? There's work to be done. Good. A little hard work will do you some good. Just get rid of those demented freaks and we'll all be happier. And stay away from us manics. You kill any of us by accident, you won't be getting anything from me. You should be taking care of this, shouldn't you? See you later. Stay away, you monster. I know what you're up to. I heard you're working for those manics. Leave me alone. I don't want trouble. I can't count my own corpse. Stay back. You aren't going to kill me. I know it.
You're not supposed to be in here. Guards! Guards! Oh. Someone's being attacked! By the gods! Don't you have work to do, like getting rid of those demented bastards? Got all of them, did you? Good work. I promised you a reward, and here it is. Now go find some other work to do, you layabout. Looks like you've taken care of it. Good work. Now go find something else to do. Felmore must be a terrible place to live. Your Grace, you have committed a crime. Only the Lord Sheogorath is above the laws of this realm. You must return any property that does not belong to you. Now will you serve your sentence in the dungeon or pay reparations? Please come with me, Your Grace. According to the law, any stolen property must be handed over. Then you're free to go.
aren't you just the cutest little thing? Good work, you fuzzy little rascal. We don't need another Ural around, do we? Do we? So I'm a I love happy endings. You've gotten rid of the other one? Fantastic. I can finally get back to my book. Goodbye. Did you hear the one about the Argonian maid? So I said, wreck them, you killed him. <laughs> Great work. Goodbye. I have been waiting for you, Your Grace. This day, as all days before and after, is well known to me. There are no surprises to Dias of Mytheria. Shea Goreth has fallen, and you seek the means to foil the machinations of the Prince of Order. You seek the throne of madness. However, no mortal may sit upon the throne without the staff, so here you are in my prison seeking to supplant the one who placed me here. If you wish to take the place of Sheol Gorath, then ask me what you will. You were expecting a book, an ancient tome filled with the secrets that you seek. But instead you have found me, the last remnant. Individuality is an illusion. The details of my existence are no more important than the history of a stone. However, if you insist, I once served as the keeper of the great library of Jikalak. The great library was the height of logic and deduction. Contained within its walls with the logical prediction of every action ever taken by any creature, mortal or Daedric. Every birth, every death, the rise of Tiber Septum, the Numidium, everything, all predicted with the formula found within Jigleg's library. When Shea Gorath discovered the library, he had it burned, insisting that it was an abomination and that personal choice defied logical prediction. 
I am all that remains of the knowledge contained within the great library of Jigalag. Following each cycle of the Grey March, Sheogorath has cast out or killed every aspect of order found in the Shivering Isles. I alone have survived. Sheogorath cannot bring himself to destroy the knowledge that I possess. Instead, he has confined me to this place and forbidden me to die. I have not seen another creature until fate, predictably, sent you to me. As you wish. Knife Point Hollow is my prison, as the great library at once contained all the knowledge in creation. However, spare me your grief. My imprisonment is as meaningless as my immortality. Time and place are nothing. Constructs of a feeble mortal mind attempting to categorize and understand the world around it. If you were one of the fortunate few, you would one day understand and accept this. However, you are not, and you will not. I can create the physical shell of the staff, but the divine essence must be gathered elsewhere. But apotheosis is no simple matter, and the creation of the staff is no simple task. I will require two sacred items in order to complete it. The Shivering Isles hold many secrets, but few remain unseen by mortal eyes. The staff is a tool of great vision, and thus requires the eye of one who has witnessed one of these unseen secrets firsthand. Sirta resides in the howling halls of Mania, and find her and bring me the eye that is seen that which no other has. The trees and branches of this realm feed from a deep font of madness and mystery. One of the oldest trees, named the Tree of Shades, lies in the halls of Milkar. Milkar is a place of ruin, root, and mania. Go there and bring me a branch of this tree, but be warned. The tree will not surrender its secrets to one who has not earned them. Yes, only then can I create an appropriate vessel to hold the power that is inherent in the lord of this realm. The staff may allow you to occupy the throne of madness, but understand that such a feat has never been attempted. All sources indicate that you will fail. It is a certainty. However, I also predict that this will not stop you from trying. The staff of Sheogorath holds the secrets of this realm. As such, it requires a vessel that has witnessed dark secrets. Sirta has seen things with her eyes that no mortal has. Because of this, her eye will serve well to contain that which the staff must hold. I can create the physical shell of the staff, but the divine essence must be gathered elsewhere. The staff of Sheogorath contains a portion of the divine power of the Daedric Prince. It is the embodiment of Sheogorath and of this land. Should you succeed, you will be the first mortal to have a dedicated Daedric artifact in your possession. This will be most interesting indeed. I can... The roots of the Tree of Shades run into the heart of the Shivering Isles. It is said that the tree feeds from waters of the Grove of Reflection. The Grove can show men who they truly are. Only after facing the truth will the Tree of Shades give up its branches to you. Individuality is an illusion. However, if you insist, I once served as the Keeper of the Great Library of Jigalag. As you wish.
friend. With all the new recruits, it is hard to be certain who is who. See you later. Yeah. Long here. Quickly, put on a robe before the others see you. They will kill you on sight. Please, I mean you no violence. Perhaps you can help me. Good, good. Your face is known to me. One so famous as you cannot expect to walk around the aisles unrecognized, can you? You are the Duke, yes? And Sheogorath has sent you to find Sirta, has he not? He finally seeks to kill her? Still, for whatever reason you are here, you mean Sirta ill, yes? Don't bother refuting me, I know the truth. <laughs> yes, I do. But there are those of us here who want her gone as well, yes. Those of us who think that maybe we could lead better than she does. So, if you will help me, I will help you. Sirta will die, and you will not need to lift a finger. Then you can take whatever you need and go. I require weapons for myself and for the apostles that will help me do the deed. But Sirta already is suspicious of me. She has forbidden me and those who support me from carrying weapons. And suspicious would it look if we were to wander around gathering them. <laughs> Very clever, Your Grace. Bring to me three Apostle Daggers. Sirta must be slain with the weapons of the light if I am to take her place. No other weapons. But you must be discreet. Do not remove the robes, or you will be attacked. Even I will have to kill you, so I do not draw more suspicion to myself. And be cautious of killing my allies. I cannot forgive that crime. You will know them, as they are also forbidden to carry daggers. Will you help me bring the apostles to the light and help yourself? Too long Sirta has led us here. Always against Sheogorath. Always. We are tired of her vendetta. Sirta brought us here with promises to show us the light, but always is about Sheogorath, is about revenge. Sirta lied, but when she is done, I will lead the Acolytes to the light. In truth, Sirta is weak. She needs all the able bodies she can get. This is why you are able to walk in here wearing our robes and not be harmed. Always she wants to strike at Sheogorath. She needs people and she leads them here with lies. Good, good. Bring to me the daggers. Then kill Sirta we will. You don't have the daggers yet? Time is growing short. Do whatever you must to get them. A lot of history has this place. It was I who led the apostles to steal the stones from Cyrodiil when the original temple was destroyed. 
we rebuilt it here, as it was when it hosted its most famous guest. Sometimes at night, <laughs> I can still hear Emperor Pelagius screaming. I see no reason to talk to you. Sirta promised to bring us to the light. It is a way. A promise of a better future. Free from the shackles of Sheogorath. The light is knowledge, she says. Forsake all ignorance and morality in favor of the light, she teaches. But what does she do? She sits in her chamber and dreams of revenge against Shagora. She is a liar and has stolen our lives. Soon we will seek the light without her. Goodbye. Greetings, brother. How does the light find you this day? Sirta is the light bringer. She has seen things that we can only imagine. If you are to join us, you must speak with her. Hundreds of years ago, this very building once served as a temple in Cyrodiil that sought to cure the mad. It was in this temple that Emperor Pelagius was taken during his madness. After his death, in these very halls, the temple was destroyed. We stole the stones from Cyrodiil and reassembled the temple here in the Shivering Isles. We seek the light with an open eye and an open heart. We carve the flesh away, seeking the light within. The light reveals all secrets and knows all thoughts. None can hide from it, and it shines in all places. Forsake the flesh, and you shall know the light. Light guides you, brother.
Greetings, friend. Have you come seeking the light? Light guide you, brother. Light shines within us. Them, do you? Give them to me. I thirst for Sirta's blood. Tonight, the light will shine for us all. Tonight, Sirta's time comes to an end. but I hear the darkness that you bring in your very breath. You do not know harmony. You do not see my light. You come to me glowing with violence and death. Your light has no place here. We seek harmony for ourselves and the Shivering Isles. I sense why you have come. I can hear it in your very breath. You came as a herald of the false god Sheagorath. I know his secret. I have seen his empty throne. Seen it with my own eyes while new Sheath burned in the grey fires of order. Sheagorath refuses to protect us. Mad god? Bah! The Grey March brings darkness. We seek light for all! I did! When the knights came, I fled to the city. As they marched and burned everything to ash, I found a way into the palace. I sought Sheagorath. This is his realm, and I knew that he would protect us. And what did I find? The throne of madness? Empty! Sheagorath had fled, left us all to die. I hid as the doors to the throne room burst open. I, I, I don't remember what happened afterwards. I woke up in the marshes and fled underground. 
I could not abide Sheogorus Brachale. He brought disharmony. He allowed the Grey March to take us. I gathered those who could see the light, and I led a revolt against him. We were slaughtered by his dark seducers. I alone was spared. And in sparing me, Sheogorath made his final mistake. In this place, I will gather a new army and dethrone our coward god once and for all. He is? Then the Grey March has begun again. If that is so, then why are you here? My eye? You, you seek to remove the light from me? Why? And my eye is required to create an artifact, isn't it? Very well, then. I have survived greater threats than you. Come, then, and I will show you that in the end my light shall shine the brightest. Then you will die. I will... <laughs> She has darkened. What will we do now? Her, her light has gone out. What will we do now? Are we damned to walk in darkness forever? Who will lead us? See you later. Sirta is dead, and now the Apostles fear that there is no one to lead them to the light. I should be the one who is leading, however. Do I have your support? I thank you for your help in killing her. Now I can lead my people towards the light. Take care. Ugh! Yeah. 
you have the items. Contrary to all prediction, once again, you defy the path set before you. However, what comes next is now unclear. If you wish to confront what is to come, I shall create the staff for you. Staff of Sheogorath holds the secrets of this realm. As such, it requires a vessel that has witnessed dark secrets. Sirta has seen things with her eyes that no mortal has. Because of this, her eye will serve well to contain that which the staff must hold. Now that you have both components, I can remake the shell of the staff. You possess the eye and the branch. Together they shall form the physical shape of the staff of Sheogorath. After I shape them into the staff, you must take it to the seat of power in the Shivering Isles, the palace of Sheogorath. There, imbue the staff with power from the font of madness. Soak the staff in the waters of the land, and it will open its full power to you. You have defied the expected and accomplished something that denies all logic. I must contemplate the error in my calculations. Now, take your treasure and leave me. Inaction conflicts with your purpose. The longer you are here with me, the further the balance shifts towards your enemy. There is no other way. You now hold the physical component of the staff of Sheogorath. Before it is complete, however, it must be imbued with power. It will draw its power from the waters of the font of madness in the palace. You're back. You may have noticed that we have a, a bit of a problem. You're having a bit of fun with me. Very good. My lord, of course, noticed the font when you arrived in the palace. The font of madness. In the middle of the throne room. The font which is unaccountably covered with crystals. Order. The taint appeared only a short time ago, but it has spread quickly. I fear that soon we will all be serving a new master. Yes, his agents must have found a way to poison the font with order. Once the source of madness becomes the font of order, Chigalag is won. Somehow, the forces of order have poisoned the pools of mania and dementia that feed the tree. I suspect the traitor Sill. Jigalag has never had an original thought in his existence. Be that as it may, you will have to enter the fountainhead beneath the tree and find the source of the poison. 
the font flows with the sap of the tree of madness, which it draws up from deep beneath the palace. The fountainhead leads down to the pools of dementia and mania, where the insanity of the realm's inhabitants settles. Jigalag's minions must have introduced order into the very wellspring of madness. You must cleanse the pools, or order has won the war. Enlightening as always. Ah! <laughs> 
Justify the ends, is that it? Then you will appreciate my new master's methods. Jigalag is coming. He cannot be stopped. He will rule this land and all our delusions will be stripped away. None too soon. We have lived too long as the playthings of the Mad God. Now, taste the power of the true lord of this realm.
My lord, our Mazel Zuda sent me to find you. She requests your immediate assistance. Please accept my pardon, Lord, if I gave you such a false impression. The fault is entirely mine. The Armazo merely wants you to know that matters of the gravest import to the realm's security may be at stake. If it please, my Lord, she requested also that I inform you that time is of the essence in her humble opinion. How may I serve you, Lord? Go. Always a pleasure. One of your military minions was looking for you. It sounded urgent, but I'm afraid I don't know the details. If only we could speak more often. My lord, I'm glad to see you. We have a developing situation that requires your attention. Order. An obelisk has activated just outside the palace. I've ordered my Orioles to engage the enemy. I expect that this is the beginning of the final assault. The cursed usurper Jigalag himself may even take the field before the end. What are your orders, my lord? It will be our great honor to fight by your side, my lord. Once each era 
I was allowed my true form, conquering this world anew. And each time I did, the curse was renewed, damning me to exist as Sheogorath. Now, though, you have ended the cycle. You now hold the mantle of madness, and Jigalag is free to roam the voids of oblivion once more. I will take my leave. And you will remain here, mortal. Mortal? King? God? It seems uncertain. This realm is yours. Perhaps you will grow to your station. Fare thee well, Sheogorath, Prince of Madness. How may I serve you, Lord? Go. Are you injured, Lord? Do you require my services? Of course, Lord. Always a pleasure. You've done it! Well done, Lord Sheogorath. I never doubted you for a moment. Now, of course, there is business to attend to. As you have assumed the mantle of Sheogorath, there are matters that deserve your attention. As Lord of this realm, there are a number of benefits to which you are entitled as well as a number of duties to which you must attend. You may request any of the Golden Saint or Dark Seducer escorts at the castle to accompany you. They will defend you to the death. You may also summon entertainment to your throne room. Your predecessor found this most invigorating. Speak with me if you wish entertainment. You also have the ability to affect the weather in your realm. As it is an extension of yourself, it will often have an effect on you as well. You also have the benefit of Sheogorath's protection. Cast this upon yourself, and if your life is threatened, you will be returned to your castle. Many of these abilities, Lord, are rooted in the magics of the Isles. Should you choose to leave this realm, they will not likely function. Your first duty is to attend to the needs of your subjects you will find that there are constant threats to the residents of the Isles. Your job is to protect them either by dealing with the matter yourself or sending your armies to take care of it for you. It seems all is peaceful in the Shivering Isles, my lord. Will wonders never cease? It seems all is peaceful. You wish entertainment, my lord? as you wish. At your command, Lord Sheogorath.
I stand ready, Lord. Your humble servant, my lord. your command. Stay away from me. You've already spent too much time over there. You can't see me. You can't see me. 
neither can he. No one can see me. Shadenhall is in your debt, friend. That Oblivion Gate had us all living in fear. Poor Tavella. I hear she's turning Shadenhall inside out looking for her husband, Wrythe. I hope nothing bad has happened to him. Wrythe Lythandis is one of the greatest painters in all Cyrodiil. Sadly, he's gone missing. His wife, Tavella, is beside herself with grief. Help me, please. I'm Tavella Lathandis. I apologize that I can't give you the respect a guest in my home would normally receive, but I am at my wit's end. I'm sorry to be so forward, but I desperately need your help. It seems that my husband, Wright, has gone missing, and I just don't know what to do. Yes, my husband is the Wright Lathandis. Have you heard of him? You haven't? That's strange. Wright is known far and wide as one of the best painters in all Cyrodiil. His specialty is setting the great forest to canvas. The paintings look so amazingly real that some say they can see the trees sway in the breeze. That's just a silly notion, of course. But it just goes to show the attention to detail Wright uses when he paints. Yes, Wright likes to work in his studio with the door locked, so no one can disturb him. He usually comes out to eat dinner and sleep. But two days ago, he didn't come out at all. At first, I wasn't worried. He does that occasionally. But when he didn't come out for a full day, I unlocked the studio with a key he said to use only in emergencies. It turned out he wasn't inside. I'm sure he never left that room. So I have no idea where he's gone. Please help me find Wrythe. I love him dearly and I'm so worried. Oh, thank you so very much. Here's the key to Wrythe's studio. You may come and go as you please. If you need me, I'll be around the house. Do hurry, I miss my love so much. Do be careful. Where did you come from? 
You look real enough. You must be from the outside. Oh, thank goodness someone finally came. While I'm overjoyed to see a friendly face, I'm afraid I have some bad news for you. You're stuck here like I am. Sorry to break it to you like that, but if it wasn't for that annoying thief, we wouldn't be in this predicament. I was in my studio when a Basma wearing dark clothing accosted me. Before I could call for help, he knocked me unconscious. When I came to, I found that the door to my studio was still locked and that the thief had snatched my paintbrush. That's when I saw it. There was something on the canvas of my painting that I hadn't put there. It looked somewhat like a troll, but it was badly done. Then it hit me. The Bosma must have leapt into the painting, then painted guardians inside to protect himself using the brush of true paint. I knew the secret of my success would be revealed one day. I can tell you all about the brush if you like. Very well. The brush showed up several years ago in the possession of an artist who was serving in the Arnesian War of 396. It seems an errant fireball had exploded next to him, and he lost the use of both arms. He was a stubborn man who didn't want to give up his talent. Being a devout follower of Debella, he prayed to her for something that would allow him to express himself once more. She heard his plea and gifted him with the brush. It said the bristles of the brush are woven from Debella's own hair. That injured man was my father. He passed the brush on to me, and I intend to pass it along to my kin one day. Did you want to know how it works? The brush allows the artist to paint from within a canvas. It opens a portal into which the artist may enter to paint things life-sized. All the painter has to do is have the brush in his possession, and whatever he imagines appears in the canvas. Of course, I like to wave it around anyway. It makes me feel more like a legitimate painter. I guess it all doesn't matter now. Unless you can defeat those painted trolls, we have no chance of getting the brush back. The trolls that the thief painted seem to have turned on their creator and killed him. He didn't know the brush had its risks. The creatures are now loose all over the forest and in the clearing where I was still working. The brush is on the body of the Bosma thief there. I will not be able to help you. I am not a warrior. But take these bottles of turpentine. They might help. Do be careful. I'll have to remember to remove the trolls from my painting before I complete this piece. Be cautious, friend.
go paint us a way out of here. Good work. Now I can paint the portal home. After it's complete, you must go first, or else you'd be stuck in here forever. Follow me. friend here. You'd be right. Come, you must need food and rest. I will rest, but I must take care of our guest first. I don't know how to thank you. You have a good heart to help me get back home. I'll never forget what you've done for me. Here, please take this apron as a token of our friendship. It's not much, but perhaps it will help you in the future. All I ask in return is to keep the brush's existence secret. If word gets around that I have it, I'm afraid more than a lone cut purse will visit me. Safe journey, Seryo. Please share the hospitality of our home. It's time for you to leave, my friend. Please share the hospitality of our home. Safe travels, Mathsara.
Yes, is there something you require? My work is never 